Capricho. Welcome back. Wow. It's been a long time. Been too um, long. This time there was um reasons why we took so long. Yeah. Well, a reason. <laughs> Um, but I'm Super Blast X here for the Troll Super Rare Podcast, joined by Toku Tony for the Troll Super Rare Podcast. Right. We're here. You can turn my part off there whenever you're <laughs> yeah. editing this. Um, yeah, uh, uh, it's been two and a half weeks. Yeah, just about. It, it, it was about, it's about to be three. So we are on the other side of Power Morphicon. Um, I felt the will to do this podcast go away when we came back from the convention. I know it. I saw it. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Yeah, because we came back from like such an amazing trip and we just, you know, you wanted to stay there. I wanted to stay there. Uh, yeah, it was a bunch of things. I just had a really bad um anxiety attack in the kitchen uh that monday we came back oh my god about what tuesday about the podcast oh um, yeah um and i just didn't want to do anything with it um but it'd be terrible to just stop this show out of nowhere uh especially since we haven't talked about our trip yeah and there's one episode of this fucking God Chart show left. Pretty good. I like it a lot. It's not. And you're wrong. <laughs> uh, wait, I don't even know what your feelings are on yeah. how that ended. So we'll get to that. Um, mine are pretty transparent. <clears throat> uh, but of course, as usual, we do get into um, what we've been doing this past two weeks. Um, but before I get into that... Um, yeah, I was not in a good place uh, recently, and uh, I'm still circling that block. But uh, I think for my own mental health, I should just continue this, um, despite anything. Uh, shout outs to anybody that we saw at yeah. the Power Morphicon. Um if you had a chance to get interviewed by us, thank you. Uh, I tried my best to put everybody's info in the video description. Yeah. Um, we just couldn't find... Uh, Kaguragi. Uh, yeah, I want to say his ranger name. Uh, his ranger name? Yeah. Oh, my God. He was from Hawaii. It's not been that long. What's his... Uh, fuck. He was from Hawaii. What was the name of his ranger name? Kagaragi. What, Ka what is he? Kagaragi Dibielski? Yeah. He's a... Uh... Who got an Oger? Uh, Obviously, he's Hibitsky Silver. Uh, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, man. You, you love King Oger. I do. Hachi Oger. There you go. Hachi Oger, Papillion, Oger, Kamikiri Oger, Tumbo Oger, uh, Jeremy Oger. Jeremy Oger. Um, cool, got an Oger. Wait, what was Jeremy Oger's name? Spider Kumano. No. Yeah, Spider Kumanos, but. Book. I have the Ranger Wiki oh, right here. Yeah, now. I know you do. And you said it takes you to King Oger anyway. Yeah, I think the King Oger. Oh, what's his name? Jeremy <clears> Barry. <throat> That's his name. What? Spider Kumanos. Oh, he doesn't have an Oger? Mm -mm. That's bullshit. Who got an Oger? Tombo Oger. Kamakiri Oger. Papillion Oger. Hachi Oger. Spider Kumanos. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got a Oger. Makes sense. That's how they do sixth. They're different. They're special. Except for this one on the screen right now. Boom Boonger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, wait, no, kind of. He's Bune. Is he Bune Violet or Boon Violet? Bune Violet. Bune, right? Uh -huh. So there you go. Bune Diesel. Uh, mm, that's wrong. They have Boon Violet. Oh, then it's Boon. No, but he's, he's Bune. Um, so what have you been up to these past two and a half weeks? I've been chilling like a mother, dog. Uh, I've been <clears throat> sick. I got everybody sick. Oh, that was this week. Yeah, that was this week. But the week after, whenever we came back from PMC, um, I don't really remember. I think it was just coming back into work, being super tired that Tuesday that we came back in. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the week, just trying to get back into the motion of doing my job, which has slowly come back to me. Yeah, I got sick. Yeah, you Yeah, you got Tuesday. sick. Yeah, me. It was like food poisoning. Yeah. I got sent home. Uh-huh. And I was here by myself. And that's not... I can't do that that much anymore. Um, but That was last week. Mm. Wait, no, it wasn't. No, it was oh, last two week. weeks ago. No, because we came back on the 26th. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did anything happen? These two weeks have passed by super quickly. Yeah. Like, really quickly. Like, important events, like, in the world what james earl jones just passed away yesterday oh, i was recently yeah yeah uh i got my high five cds that was awesome nice um i did not pull ran of course <laughs> I used up on my luck seeing her in person and uh pulling her on the the first release uh there's 11 of them and you know you didn't use tough. up all your luck man um 11.1 percent that still just gets you 99.9 percent um I don't what else happened oh i this kind of happened right before leaving for the trip I got super into nmix yeah. Oh, and I got some stuff over there. I didn't put those pictures in here. <laughs> um. Yeah. What else happened? Nothing, <clears throat> right? No, nothing. We were just chilling this whole did, week. Did you get? Oh, you know what? I didn't take pictures of what I built. I did a superhero time, just uh, as a spoiler. I done did it. Uh, Togo toy time. Oh yeah, Togo toy time. I done did it. It was. You awesome. made an entire production of superhero time. I did. Yeah, it, on my uh, my own dime. You're a Farting liar. Oh, no. How dare you? Subvert expectations, folks. That's called jokes. Uh, so what oh, did you make? There he is. Since you don't have any pictures of it, you can talk about it right now. Uh, no, I'm going to take pictures while we're talking. Oh, I see. Um, and I think, yeah, I can make it so that you go first when we talk about the trip. Yeah. Do you want to, like, are you ready to talk about what you... Oh, yeah, for sure, because I don't remember anything about what happened the past two weeks. Are you talking about in, in in real life? Yeah. Yeah, in real life. I don't remember well, anything. When was two weeks? What? So we came back. No, man. Uh. This is embarrassing. Like I feel. I'm I'm sure something happened, dog. But I don't. You know, if it's not coming now. Oh, I know what happened. That like kind of big deals. We got a new writer. Yeah. Yeah, we got a new writer. We got a new writer. Uh, we'll talk about that later. And I'm going to ask you a question right now. Uh, I hope you... I hope you agree. Okay. I would like to do two episodes of Gav at once. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, and then two of the Boom Boom Jerk. Yeah. Um, Just to, like, catch up or... To catch up. To do it in one we can even do i mean it kind of defeats the purpose but we can even do one gav episode where mm -hmm. we talk about the two episodes and then one boom boonger where we catch up on the two boom boongers mm. um or we can do one four episode long podcast episode huh. that uh, would be four hours i mean we've done fucking more because uh the <clears throat> movies and stuff yeah we've done a whole bunch um how long have we been recording Oh, I cursed before the 10-minute mark. Nice, dude. You did it. Uh, 
Yeah, I did do it. Let me see. Yeah, so you just want to get into the... Yeah, let's do it. The trip? Yeah, let, let's get into this trip time. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. So I'm going to open up another folder that has these pictures. And we'll be right back. We're back. And I do appreciate that this is the first picture yes. that we jump into the trip with. <clears throat> yeah, it was awesome. This is the plane we took. I was at a window seat both times. Right. It was right. very good. And uh, surprisingly enough, the same exact angle, just on the right wing instead of the left wing this time. Yeah. No. Huh? Yeah. Oh, right. Because I always I always take aisle 18. Oh, uh, really? When I got on the plane. Yeah. Oh, so wow. you were in my vicinity. You yeah. were across from me going and yeah. then in front of me coming back. Yeah. Yeah, but I always get 18. Why 18? Because uh, number nine. Uh huh. Is Blastoise's number? Is the number that Ishii Ran debuted in Girls Girls? Is the number Ishii Ran debuted in Me I? Um, and 18 is nine twice. Oh <laughs> my God! <laughs> so nine twice you know that whole thing i just did with like connecting numbers and making it make sense yeah. and all that shit um i've heard the japanese are very like that very into that kind of like justifying why they sit on the second seat next to the window mm. uh, on the bus or whatever or if they can or you know shit like that yeah like uh Oh, my blood type is A and your name starts with A and blah, blah, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I promise you when I, the first time I chose aisle 18, none of that shit came in my head at all. Mm -hmm. I just thought, oh, the wings right there. I want to sit kind of behind the wing mm -hmm. so I can see the wing and the sky and everything. Cause I like the way the wing, like when it, uh, when it activates and, and shit, like yeah. to slow down the air, whatever it does, it, it's cool. And it's always terrifying. We, we flew with Omar for the first, Omar's first flight ever yeah it was awesome was this uh to and from and you know right before we took off or when we were in the air and everything as we were going up um i just looked at him and told him like we don't belong up here mm -hmm. we're not supposed to be up here yeah no <laughs> we're not supposed to be in the sky like this it is wild that we're up here <laughs> like just the act of flying it's such a novel thing like it's, there's, it's not a big deal at all everybody does it daily but still, every time I get on a plane, I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> this is not this is not normal. It shouldn't be um, the way that it is. No. We're not we're not we're not made for this. But they made these planes to do this for us. Um but yeah, I just wanted to get the, the wing and, and get the window. So eighteen and I was like, hey, eighteen, that's not a bad number. Nine Blastoise, nine ran, nine nine, that's just nine twice. It mm -hmm. yeah. Connect the dots. Uh Hey, it's our uh, first, uh, second day. Yeah, so you don't have any pictures of Frankensons, right? No, none. Okay, I think just, I only have one. I only have no, the pair I of Frankensons of what we got. Okay, okay. Um, so how do you want to do? Do you want to talk about each day and then get to the picture, or do you want to talk about the pictures and then we'll talk about them? Yeah, because I'll, I'll have pictures. I'll have some pictures of Frankensons. Yeah, of during this and this and this. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll just talk about my my pictures like in that moment, not like a time by time thing. I have a picture of Frankenson. Yeah, so here's the thing. So I took very little pictures during this trip. Um, I'm very in the moment. And I loved being in California so much. I didn't want to feel like I missed any of it. So I just had my phone in my pocket a lot of the time. So whenever I felt like it was a picture worth taking, I did. Uh, so this was, uh, I think, the third photo I took in California. It's of Bowser. The statue on top of uh, his castle, or in his castle, at Super Mario World. In like the lobby of his castle. Yeah, at Super Mario World in uh, <coughs> Super Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World in uh, Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. And I really liked it, and I love this. It's a full statue that's like 15 feet tall. It is so awesome. It's so cool. So we mentioned it before we left. This part of the trip sort of just happened. Yeah. Um, it was month before we got here mm. 
and we were like, hey, let's go to the new world. Yeah. Uh, well, why you know, not? My my buddies over there. I wish I wish we took a picture with them. Yeah, it was kind of too late whenever we thought <laughs> of it. Uh, but that just means we gotta go back. Uh oh, Pop yep. Mr. Popular. Devin's trying to call me on Facetime. Decline oh. that. I want to talk to you. Why no, he doing, sucks? I'm doing the podcast right now. Oh, do you want me to tell you that he sucks? No, don't tell me he sucks. Okay. He listens to this podcast. Um, so the tickets ended up costing about 110 dollars to go. Yeah. Um, Oof. well, that's that's I, I thought that's very reasonable. Uh, but we did spend a lot of money there. Uh, you did not take any pictures of the food or anything. I have some of those. No, yeah, I didn't. So take we can show we can take a look at just how much we freaking spent here. Yeah, a lot. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, you don't have any pictures of the ride either, or like of the car. But no, it was like yeah. a Mario Kart ride with vis with the glasses on. Uh, what do you think of that? I liked it a lot. Uh, I thought the VR glasses. I didn't. So I didn't know anything about this at all. So the VR glasses coming up out of nowhere was strange to me. But seeing how like it integrated with the ride and all that, I liked mm -hmm. it a lot. Mm -hmm. And I can get points and how those points or those coins matter in mm -hmm. like the app and all that. The little wristband. Yeah, with the wristband, which didn't work. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah. There, there it is. is. So this is everything I got at Universal Studios Nintendo Land. What? That's all you got? Yeah. That's all I got. Wow, uh, you're holding back. That's all I got. Do you have the box still for your toad? No, I do not. Oh. Yeah, all, those two boxes in the back, I left them. <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Right there. The oh. Omar, Omar threw his away, too. Yeah, no, I threw mine away. I was just like, ah, it's okay. I'll, I'll keep my toad wristband yeah, inside of the it. toad. Look at that box. It's a nice box. It's a nice box. So, yeah, that, that, that uh, toad head was from the food court from the from toad's cafeteria cafe cafe yeah it was the uh tomato soup man it was good very very good not not enough though i was still very hungry uh and then i saw that pin that boo pin and i had to have it there was another one right the pin yeah or another boo thing that you almost got that yeah was like that it was the hat it was, it was a hat it was the boo hat it was a trucker hat and I really liked it. It was very nice. But I thought, no, I already have a hat on at the time I did. So I was like, I'm not going to carry on this hat. And then I'm going to have two hats traveling back to, you know, I, I'm not going to do that. So I just got the Amiibo wristband and the um, this uh, pin and those little candies right there. Fire flower candies. A little collectible tin. Sells a hot topic too. Uh, but I really like that mushroom head because it's also a bowl. Yeah, it's a bowl. Where is that? It, it, you can see it as soon as you walk in my my room. It's, oh. right, it's right there on top. You don't want to use it? Like keep it in the kitchen? Well, no, nah, not really. Yeah. yeah, I'll keep it as a souvenir, and I'll use it on occasion. But yeah, it's it, it's staying a mushroom. <coughs> it's a nice size. Yeah, it's a good. Bad cough. <clears throat> it's good. I liked it. Yeah, and that toad wristband is super nice as well. All right, this is gonna be your haul, I think, from Frankenstein's. Yes. Yeah, so this is my Frankenstein's hall. Is it Frankenstein's or when we rocked around Tokyo? No, it's Frankenstein's. Okay. I, is there a little Tokyo hall? I included a little Tokyo hall with my... Uh, PMT? Uh, oh, no, actually, this is my little Tokyo hall. Okay. I So, yeah, so at Frankenstein's, I got those two Weiss Schwartz uh, singles on the left and on the right. <laughs> uh, colorful Stage and Chainsaw Man, both in English, unfortunately. Uh, I also got that Riolu and Lucario kit at Frankincense from a vendor there. He sold a lot of Gunpla and a lot of Nendroids. Wow, it was so much, so many Nendroids. That's where I got that Iron Mouse too. Uh, and if you see on top of the Iron Mouse, it's the uh, TCG Magic: The Gathering uh, Secret Layers. Oh, that was a Hatsune Miku yeah. Rainbow Foil Edition. I needed the Foil Edition in Japanese because uh, I just like the way that those came out better. And at the bottom was every single Hatsune Miku signed card I could find at, at Frankenstein's that day that I could, you know, see. I asked every card vendor that was there. And that uh, <laughs> Spy Family English um, card. It's really nice. It's foil. Um, yeah, so I have all of those cards. Uh, fortunately for me, those are the cheapest signed cards you can get on the market for Hatsune Miku. Uh, and also, conveniently, I love silver. 
And there was a silver seller right there in Frankincense. Crazy. I didn't expect to see that. So I thought, okay. Silver seller. Yeah, that's my thing. I have to get it. So I, I think got it's Silver Surfer, TJ. Silver Surfer? Oh, you're right. You're right. So <laughs> I got the 1968 Mexico uh, Olympian coin, uh, which my dad has like seven of them. I got it for him without knowing that he has like seven of them. That's got like. Uh, yeah. Well, it's because 1968 is his birth year. Oh. So I just, he, I, I assume he always gets that if he sees it. And then I got the other one for my mama, the uh, uh, Cinco Pesos, which is uh, uh, five pesos. Uh, which is also a silver coin. I forget what year it is. It says it on the back, but it's also old. Uh, fun fact: that card that you see right up there, that is not the the no the the middle one. There you go, that one right there. So that yeah, that one is not a Vi Schwartz card. The others are Vi Schwartz, but that one is a from a TCG uh, a few years back. I don't know if you remember. I think it's called Sweet Dreams. No, something like that. No, uh, but it's very old. And I'm glad I got it too, cause it's it's very nice. That was everything I got at Frank and Sons. Uh, I just remembered the stuff I got at Little Tokyo. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the picture is with the PMC stuff, cause I think that was the same day. Well, here we go. Here we go. It was not the same day. It wasn't. Shit. It was, yeah. That's right, because yeah. So that's another thing. Um, uh, the convention started on on friday friday at 4 p.m hmm. 4 p.m yeah like in the like way past the middle of the day and i just kept thinking universal had a deal where you buy a day you get a second day for free yeah i kept thinking man we should have farting we should have farting day. gotten the second the second day the next day um and it would have been free yeah Ah. It, it would have been totally free so next time we go which might be next year which might be next month um no i'm not gonna go back next month you kidding me it's halloween horror nights it's terrifying oh it's terrifying they were getting that ready when we were there yeah you know who we did see at the very end of that oh you, you know yeah beetlejuice yeah that's not horror though that's a fun guy <sighs> the mushroom here's your pmc hall i think that is just pmc dude Damn, that is PMC. What did I get for? Uh, I don't think you took a picture of your to your. Well, I don't even know what you got. Cause didn't we go two times or no? No, just oh yeah. No, no. I'm yeah, thinking we, of yeah, Korea we Town. You didn't get anything Korea Town, huh? K Town. Did you get anything K Town? Uh, no, I got nothing at K Town. I was just walking around, enjoying the views, in the good old time. Let me see if I did take a picture of anything from when I, from when I got the stuff. Uh, oh, this, is, this is a picture before you even opened up the. Uh, the boxes, yeah. Yeah. With yes, yes, yes. We took our Crocs on vacation. Of course we did. Of course we're Americans. We love our Crocs. We love them. So this is a box of little figures that you got. I helped you make. They were pretty cool to make. Yeah, they're nice, um, actually. I didn't expect them to be that good. I just, I'm not into God Charter and Valverad not having their weapons. Yeah, that was a, that, that was stinks. a big that was a big no no. Uh, no, I did not get anything that I I did not put the picture that I saw for uh, Little Tokyo. But I'll just say it because it's only three things. You got a lot of shit. What are you talking about? Didn't you get a lot of stuff? It was three things. Did you get? Huh? I don't know what you got. So I got three Nendroids when right. I was there. Right. The Miku. Yeah, the Miku. Three Miku Nendroids. Mm. That uh. The first one is the sitting Miku from, ooh, I forget what day it was, but it's like a special day. She has like a red uh, feather in her finger, in her hand <clears throat> that she holds up. It's one of them sitting Nendroids, so like, and has a chair and you can put it on whatever. It's up on my shelf right now. And the other two, the first one, unfortunately got damaged. The packaging got damaged while I was transporting it back to uh. here. But it's not visible. It's not super visible. So, you know, I'm not super choked up about it. Plus, they're just the boxes. Very true. It's just the boxes. I'm glad you said that because I was kind of upset about it when I first saw it. But then I was like, ah, it's just the box. Uh, it's the Hatsune Miku Happy 16th Birthday version. Uh, Nedra number 2222 for Hatsune Miku's 16th anniversary. Mm. And uh, Hatsune Miku the vampire version which is two two three nine i love that figure and i love that art 
and the manga that's gonna come out of it i think it already came out actually uh but yeah it was so good and those are the only three nindroids that i got from there so now i have my i started my nindroid collection whenever i was over there yeah in a different place iron mouse and then three hatsune mikus uh yeah but that was it <laughs> that, that was all i got little tokyo now pmc time here we go pmc time boy let me tell you boy let me tell you i was about to spend it all i was i i spent it all i went over my budget yeah at pmc he was awesome so I, at the toku lector stand i wanted to get everything gov fortunately they had everything that they had at the time for gov so i got all of it you may have even gotten the last yeah sophobie i'm pretty sure i got the last sophobie so that's gov sophobie on friday by the way yeah on friday <laughs> the uh the pack with the special card of gav and gachard with the pop and gummy uh gochizo and a single box of phase ex2 you, which has the gav cards you open them all already right yeah yeah okay. yeah. so i got i think all of them with that uh the grab bag people were selling these cards for ten dollars each and they had you know a good card in the front of it and they were just like parallels like those are like 50 dollars cards that are in the front wow yeah that's crazy i thought oh okay they must not care about like the rarity or like the value about these cards isn't uh, this from little tokyo uh yes that no, no 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 it's not i didn't take a picture of that either i did get another thing in little tokyo actually that i forgot to take a picture of uh because it's not super big it's the um is it televicoon yeah the televicoon for gachard and geats whenever the geats movie came out yeah so it's common writer gachard uh the special grade out version and then come rider geats special grade out version yeah it is nice those two cards are so nice and then that right there that uh i forget what that promotion is from uh this? that no no no. the gotchard cards on the top that you just were hovering over i forget what that's from these no the one to the left that one. Oh, where uh i forget do you remember no because it, it's common rider gotchard with the two of them and then the other two cards in that are uh, Steamliner and Hopper One uh, PR cards. <clears throat> God, I wish I remembered. You know what? You might have just thrown that in to the bag. From collectible? Yeah. Maybe. I, I, I can see that. Maybe. Dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah, and this is the Toku Lecture Special Edition figure. Oh, this guy. Thing, yeah. yeah. I keep talking about the thing that you were hovering over like before. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is the this is the figure. I got Gokaiger. I did not get Decado. Do they have a Decade there? You haven't seen the box? It's both. Oh, that's right. It's the front and the back. Yeah. Uh yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't opened mine yet. It's yeah, still neither. in the package. Still saran wrapped. And the next booth legally the, it's not gokaiger and decade by the way it's tokaiger and tokade oh right 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 um i don't remember you got that at pmc uh yeah i got it from the people that are doing the grab bags with, oh okay. with those cards as well very very nice yeah also promo for that art that artist right there sweet diggity can you guess who that is yes i know who it is pretty good hey uh it's uh, <laughs> it's stacy and um kaito from zenkaiger from zenkaiger pretty good pretty hilarious and there are the three pins that you know you have to get those pins whenever you're there at pmc you have to get those pins every time go kaiger um, decade and a random one cv nine. yeah cv does good stuff great stuff on instagram check them out also with that uh kaito and stacy I got the pic the whole line of stickers for the Dawn Brothers, including um, Kaito in his chef in the boss outfit and their acrylic stand of Kaito and Stacy. Really nice. So cool. I like it, I like it a lot. Also, a lanyard from Toku Lectables. Did you, did you, you didn't get anything on Saturday? I'm sure you did. <sighs> no, I don't think I did. Cause it was all about recording yeah 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 that yeah that's what it was it was this was my bye day and then the next day 
was the record day. I bought shit on Saturday. Yeah. To finish my set. I don't have a picture of it. So the, so also the Galaxy version, those blockies, brickies, uh -huh. they're so nice. Again, the decade is super, super cool. I like yeah. it a lot. Oh, hey, that's me with Masi here anyway. I bet you're fucking jealous, aren't you? Oh, look at me. Look like I took all the shit. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at my face. I promise you, you he was not under any kind of influence. No, I wasn't. <clears throat> except for all. maybe happiness. I was too happy. Maybe, maybe that's why I'm looking cross-eyed. I look like I had a lazy Oh, you know eye. what? That's something you bought there that wasn't in the picture. Oh, yeah. The Power Morphicon shirt. Your shirt. I really like that shirt a lot. <laughs> it's Power Morphicon with the Japanese text on top, which has Power Morphicon. And then in English, Power Morphicon, the logo on the back of it, which is super nice. Super minimal. Really good shirt. Yeah. Uh, there's Masahiro Inoue. Look, look at my excitement. Look at my farting face. I look really... Uh, I look like I'm all there. Which, surprise, surprise, I was. Yeah, it's rough. Uh, when you meet somebody that you've been like wanting to meet and then... You get there, you don't know like, yeah, what face to make or what to do really, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see that with my picture that I'm gonna show. He was very nice to me. He was very straightforward. Uh, he was very, uh, very nice. He was a kind guy. Um, well, I'm assuming because he meets all these people, he, you know, he's learned that over the time. But I asked him, or I, I told him I really liked his appearance in the uh, uh, Daybreak movie. He said, "Oh, thank you." Oh, yeah. The movie we haven't seen yet. Yeah, the movie we haven't seen. I kind of movie that's not even out. Like no at all anywhere <laughs> yeah so I, I bet i bet he was surprised or maybe he didn't understand but yeah i said i liked you in the daybreak movie your cameo i was like oh thank you he's like i filmed that like eight years ago no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and then you only saw him the one time huh no man so we waited in line so long in the morning we waited so long so long and then later That's on, we did. and then later on in the day, we yeah we waited for like two hours. So we went Friday normal, and we saw the line was too long, and they actually capped it by the time we got there. Yeah, yeah. If if we had waited like another two minutes, it would have been capped, and we would have been on Friday. Yeah. No, it was capped. On Friday, it was capped when we got there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right, it was right, capped. Yeah. So we were like, okay, tomorrow in the morning we're gonna leave early. Uh -huh. We're gonna get here. We're gonna. Uh, just go straight to the line and then we did we lined up outside yep and then we went straight to the line for the autographs and everything and we went we made okay time because we still had time to go around and, and do yeah. other things um but when we were done doing other things after we took the pictures and after we interviewed and everything we went back to see what the line the situation was like there was nothing not literally that. no line and so much so that Tokutoni went and got in line again. Uh, again? He just went up. Didn't even get in line. He just went up to the counter. Yeah. And got a signature. So initially I was going to... I didn't have enough money to get the uh, the photo and the signature. So I was like, okay, bummer. I'll just get the photo. Signatures, whatever, in the long run. And then when we came back and he was like, oh, hey, they're just back from break. Yeah. Oh, that, that also, we they just got back from break. Yeah, that might be why it was so empty. Yeah. And I was like, oh. All right, I'm jumping in line. Yeah. And then I got the signature. Look at that. To yeah. Tony. I'm not here anyway. I know, I know you can't see it because the way he writes T's is weird. But it's nice. That's cool, though. Yeah. I chose that picture of it's him. It's a cool print. Yeah, he yes. had it up there, huh? Yeah, he had it up there. I, I was like, they are, they're all decade. Like the suit. Yeah. Oh. I, I like the suit. You want a picture of him? But yeah, but if I'm going to get a signature of the man, I'm going to get the man's photo. Yeah. When he was like... 20 years younger and then you're gonna have to tell this story well did you want to keep talking about no 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 yeah, gonna, hero? We'll go to it yeah so this, this was on saturday yeah it was saturday yeah. this was a chance encounter i really like this encounter with this guy he was like in the middle like just straight up in the middle of the convention center and uh he's a, he's the stunt actor and i was like oh my god it's a stunt actor and then he like he stopped me and he was like hey I'm in this stuff. You want to get a picture? You want to get a signature? I was like, yeah, I want to get a picture and a signature. So you're like, I just know you're like that in all your pictures. Yeah, I'm fucked up. What's happening? In the head, dude. But I don't. You weren't like that when I was walking around with you. No, I wasn't. What the fuck? That's my info. Like every, wow. every photo I have to take, it's either a deadpan stare or I'm just. No, on. no, this is new. This is a thing here, TJ. Is it? Yes. Well, they're just too yes. happy. We've taken pictures for Omar's birthday, uh -huh. Jocelyn's birthday. That happened when we came back, Jocelyn's birthday. Yeah. 
uh, our niece's birthday. Uh-huh. Um, Look at my face. What did we do on her birthday? Went to uh, that restaurant. Brewings. We got some chicken, man. That's Good. the one. Uh, anyway, sorry. You did not look like that in any of the pictures unless you're taking pictures with Japanese people, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to fact check me on that one. Uh, Yeah. Michi Yamamoto. Yamato. Huh. I can't read. Uh, this guy's a stunt actor. He did Masked Rider in America. Uh, he's, he's done other stuff in Japan too, but I was really excited. I, would, I really like this guy. He's really outgoing. He's super nice. He was like, can I post this photo online? I was like, yeah, you can post it, dude. It's awesome. So he gave me a print. Oh, fun fact. He is like, be he is best friends with the dude that does the Kamen Rider uh, Spirits manga. Yeah. Uh, which I have one volume of. Um, and he, the, the, the writer and the artist, he did a picture of this guy. And that's also on the, on the signed photo. I don't have the signed oh, photo yeah, picture, yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's so nice. He, he's a, he's a really good son actor and he's still doing stuff now, which yeah. is surprising. He had a really great story. It was a very nice encounter with this guy. I didn't even, who I didn't even know was going to go. And, um, I want to talk back or I, I want to look back into the recording that we did before PMC. Cause I listed all the names of who was going to be there. Uh -huh. I want to see if I said him. Because that would have been awesome. Because that uh, guy was really cool. Oh. Ignore. Did I really just take over the last thing? No, there it is. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's okay. it for that encounter. What else? What's, what's the next one? This one. Uh... I don't know if it was an encounter, but it happened on Saturday, I think. Nope. Man. There it is. Alrighty, this is Boon Red. Wow. So there was two Boon Reds that were there. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hey, I don't have that. My eyes are good. A little bit. It's probably the quality of the camera. I was probably messed up in that photo too. Look at me with Boon Red. So there's two Boon Reds there. Uh and I didn't get a picture with the second one because I didn't see him until like way after PMC. I actually saw him in like Instagram posts and all that. But this guy was legit. He had a super nice helmet. Yeah. And he was like, he was a taller, slimmer guy. So Look, like he fit the actual. He even has like the shin guards. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. The shoe. Damn. Yeah. This is a great costume. It looked as if he was the suit actor. This was Friday because of the shirt. Yeah. yeah look at that Super Nintendo World shirt. That's another shirt that I got over there. But yeah, that's a great great cosplayer and he didn't talk you know as yeah. as cosplayers do they don't yeah. talk when they have the mask on so uh i couldn't get his information but this is so nice yeah. so good and this is my superhero time my toku toy time i uh, not really tokusatsu but stuff i got at frankensons this is the lucario and riolu set it's really nice it took me like 20 minutes to do and it came out so well it looks so good um this is riolu throwing a uh, an aura sphere while Lucario in the back is surprised. Uh, that, that's the setting. That's the scene I captured here. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, uh, so I, I, I've always seen this and I've always kind of wanted to get it for you for your birthday or Christmas. Yeah. Um, cause it's so like me. Yeah. But I'm, I'm glad you got it. Cause I think you, you should have gotten it. Um, the thing that I, that always stopped me from getting it for you was how much how little articulation it has oh yeah yeah yeah. You're looking at it yeah woof it has barely any articulation riolu has no articulation at yeah, all no that's that's the pose yeah wait his arms can't even like nope that's the pose move around no. damn yeah the arms have like l brackets whenever they go in they stay in that pose nice. yeah but lucario has motion in his arms his head tilts and his torso tilts uh his legs have motion quote unquote they're not really motion. It's just a ball joint at the bottom that can move like in a circle. It doesn't bend or anything. I wonder what he scales to to your other figures. Oh, very small. These guys are big. You don't have a figure arts decade? No, I have a figure arts uh, Zenkaiger. No, you have. I was thinking of your figure eyes. Yeah, um, my figure eyes Kuga. Kuga. And you have the decade one, right? Yeah, I just haven't built it. 
Yeah. The, the thing but with you that made the belt. The, yeah, the thing with that one is that the figurized decade. I had to get the belt out first so that I could put it on Kuga so that it's just decade. You know what I'm saying? It's just decade. Yeah. With Kuga. Um, and that's it for your pictures. Yeah. Uh, these are gonna be mine. Uh, how do I? Hmm. Let's take a break. Yeah, take a break. Yeah, because it's gonna be a little longer. I have thirty-three pictures. And we're back. This is the only picture I included. I did take other pictures of Frank and Sons. Uh, this is the only picture I took oh, that I wanted to put in the blog because it's Tinka Tink, uh, one of my new favorite Pokemon. Tinka Tink. Um, I can't wait for Tinka Ton to get her sitting cutie. Oh. Um, which I, I gained four sitting cuties uh, over there. Yeah. You... Which we'll get to see soon. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, went, you went on the round with him, right? You, like, you were trying to look for him. Yes. Everywhere. Mm hmm. That's great. Yeah, and now, now I got a full uh, full roster. Yeah, you do, right? It's crazy. I'm missing two, but who, who I'll get them. Missing? I'll get them eventually. Torterra and Golurk. Hmm. Um. So the first day we landed. Okay. So the first day we landed, we got picked up by Ray. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Um. He took us to in and out which is like our thing that we do, I guess, when we get to... It's what everybody does when they get to LA. Yeah, it's Go the water burger. Out. Um, and then we went to the hotel, and we had a couple of hours, like an hour, uh, until we went to Frankenstein's yeah. when they opened. And that's a really cool place. It's basically um, a giant indoor flea market. Uh, but it's all nerd shit. Yeah. Including sports nerd shit. Um, so there was a bunch of Pokemon, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever. You could say anime. Say it, say it, it's there. You want, um, you want to say a silver seller? They're there too. And I wanted to... Silver Surfer. And I wanted to <laughs> go there for sure. Um, I, thought, I thought you guys were like... I used to go there a lot when I lived out there. It was in a different location. Oh, okay. Uh, it was like in a... In a industrial warehouse type thing um and it looked old uh, like, so seeing this brand new building for it was awesome like a sam's club kind of um like a costco yeah but um so after that we went to korean barbecue which i don't think you guys have had before no i, I never had it before um it was really great yeah. it was a lot of food too much food yeah I couldn't finish it. I literally could not finish my my last few pieces of meat. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was great. Uh, so then we went to sleep, woke up, and that was Mario Day, Nintendo yeah. Land, Nintendo World Day, and that's what the next one, two, three, four, five, uh, like fifteen pictures are going to be about. <laughs> Mario, oh, no, Mario, I got I got sixteen, seventeen, eighteen pictures of it. Good job. Um, pictures. So the band we were talking about earlier is this little wristband you get at the world. Uh, it works on a bunch of rides there. Or it works on a bunch of stuff at Nintendo Land. Um, and you sort of interact with it, play little games. It's like how Nintendo would do a theme park where it's interactive and stuff. Yeah. Um, it was a lot game. of fun. Uh, I also... Right outside... So right when we got into the Universal, there was a... Th gift shop yeah and it's nintendo we, right there walk in. and it stopped me in my tracks and nice that's a picture i took right outside you can see how happy i am do you look holy cow in that photo no you got a normal man yeah, face. That's, just, that's just how i look you got a normal man face and i got a messed up face dude I don't and know what's then wrong with me. when we went inside i found my hat for the day I mean, I had my red hat on, of course, uh, but this headband, one of my favorite things I've ever bought in my whole life. Yeah, it really, f it was like for you. It was crazy. I had it on the whole day. Um, it's crazy adorable, and it felt like I had Mario on my head because, you know, he can turn little too. Yeah. Um, 
so that was amazing it was like uh it's like he's piloting you like ratatouille style ratatouille style um so we got a bunch of stuff i have a picture of do i have a picture of what i got no no i did not put that in here oh really i was just joking uh oh no i do no that's oh, your nice. picture that's your oh, picture God um as you can tell we're very still much sick yeah in the so that's also part of why we're freaking doing this to get it out and stop being god dang sick because i'm sick of it and yeah tired yeah um what was i saying oh yeah so this was my headband and then this was at a cafe it was kind of hidden oh. wasn't it no it was it had like a red carpet uh, to it yeah uh but it was like a mario cafe right before you even continue on the main street uh we were side i was sidetracked because i was kind of leading us even though y'all should just went because i was trying to take it all in baby oh yeah and we did we, we took everything like that <clears throat> it's crazy how before we even got to nintendo land we took every step in it was crazy yeah kind of i mean we we skipped the, like the transformers kind of skipped the simpsons stuff uh we were there a little bit for harry potter right at the end skip the jurassic park stuff yes jurassic park was skipped which that's fine Let's see where that pops it where does that picture pop where does that picture pop uh at the end cool all right i put a picture of what i got <laughs> at the world uh but yeah look at that cool little it's just nice yeah it's nice um so at this place we got this this was a calzone wow this was a really tasty drink uh with too much ice uh but it had fruit gummies fruit pop pop popping bubbles so yeah it had, it had popping bubbles uh jellies and um the thing you put at the bottom of the drink which is a sparkling you put um, a you put a like a it looks like a bath bomb but it's not it's for yeah. your drink uh, you put on in, in, in the drink and it changes the flavor and everything of it it was really awesome yeah it was crazy uh and that little straw thing i wish i could have kept that but it was just paper that's fine um the calzone was pretty good um yeah so <laughs> the trek to get to this part of the park was incredible uh there was about five extremely steep extremely long each of them were long escalators that we rode down yeah to it, get here it was not very enjoyable for me it was tough it was tough and <clears throat> i've decided the next time we go i'm gonna ignore everything and just beeline straight to mario La nintendo land uh so you can have more time to ride the rides and, and do do things here um because i am coming back this is not oh, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. or florida um, florida would be nice yeah i just i i, I really like this place i i you know you, you saw me crying right oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i was crying a couple of times i cried in the fucking gift shop yeah as soon as you walked into as the soon gift as shop. i walked in i heard the music and that was it that was a wrap for me uh i tweeted about it. i cried three times like 10 15 minutes of being in there um so it's all forced perspective right for everything universal studios including mario land but looking at it from afar it still looks like it's a huge theme park it looks like it got plucked out of the video game yeah and placed in the real world it's ridiculous um i appreciate how much money they're spending on this like you can see right here that's like the, mm -hmm. the backdrop yeah <clears throat> to make it look like real or whatever like this like the hills yeah <laughs> so good um so this was in the line the long ass line we kind of just got into the line without knowing what it was i didn't know what the hell we were getting we're ourselves just, into we're just walking around we're like oh okay let's get in the line and luckily when we got in the line the wait was only like maybe 60 minutes it said 50, yeah 55 to yeah, 60 it was, minutes it was 55 um it was pretty good and then when we got out it jumped up to 90 so <laughs> the, we the, got it good time the entire time uh we were like what did we walk into what the hell is this line why is it so long the reason we were so confused because the line starts in yoshi world yeah it starts in yoshi world uh, I mean, what? 
and we were like yeah all right yoshi world and i took some pictures of the cave too so we started here and then we went to the yoshi cave it was really cool for as long as the line is i appreciate that they really try to make it enjoyable by just being in the line it gives you a show oh it gives you things to look at yeah and um omar was saying the whole time i think this is mario kart yeah i think this must be mario kart and i was like no the only big line that they have no dude we're in yoshi why, why would this be mario kart and it was mario kart and then yeah i took that picture uh so we went outside yeah we went outside and we came back in look how great this looks look, I, gotta, I gotta help mario fight bowser look a little mario and it's me too i'm mario too look a lot of mario shit look at that in super nintendo world <laughs> i'm about to be 35 years old and then uh i took this picture too <laughs> that's a good one look at mario look at mario <laughs> oh. oh i want to go back uh yeah so they had like really cool stuff on the walls these emblems for mario kart <clears throat> the mario yeah. kart trophies and stuff really cool and then yeah it's like we were like in bowser's room kind of you see his big ass chair picture of princess peach because he's a weirdo uh universal studios cup which is not canon but they made one because you know and all those books are like related to his story like yeah. how to capture princesses or how their, to talk to princesses or their puns yeah uh yeah just really cool dioramas that's like a galaxy thing king boo lakitu uh bullet bill oh they had a weird Bowser thing in there too statue. which one <laughs> those um they had they had the 3ds effect on oh, one of the you. screens yeah the the screens i had a picture of that but it didn't come out because obviously <laughs> uh but they had like the effect that they use on the 3ds where the 3ds has a cat to has camera has a camera on the top of the screen so they can track your eyeballs so it can feed you the images to your eyeballs so it looks 3d yeah um they had screens here around this room uh, where like a boo was coming out interacting with like stuff on the shelf um but the way it worked and there was also a fire that had it too uh when you looked at it it looked like it was popping out actually 3d but it was a screen it was really cool and really interesting the way they did that um this is fun they just all these little dioramas and stuff is that me yes man I, I, hair doesn't look that curly in real life can't uh, even see it i'm looking at you right now <laughs> it's very curly it is very curly yeah yeah i guess so um oh yeah those suits were freaking me out so they this was like in the waiting room of the the ride where they told us instructions on how to play and everything uh these little me outfits were adorable i love them so much um this was my favorite one of course the tanuki suit you just fold it up look it's like this is hard you know this is hard plastic this is like a thing it looks full up but they yeah they creased it so it looked real look at mario oh look at that man um oh yeah and then i took a picture with my buddy don't oh did you not put this picture in here of I, yours did you didn't take a picture, I, with I didn't take a picture with toad at the time whenever we got out of mario kart i was super hot from the sun oh right and i was not used to that at all and i was just trying to look, look for any shade so I, I didn't want to take a picture with toad i was in like a sun heat mood i was very like i'm gonna overheat right now what was also crazy was in the super nintendo world is like at the very end of the park yeah and it felt like the sun was directly on top of us the entire time yeah like literally over our heads the entire time it was crazy like uh, um, ridiculous the colors of the world i think amplified that because the colors everything's so bright and f kind of flat uh when the sun shines on it it just makes everything pop even more yeah <coughs> it um, was very vibrant in that place yeah. um secret hidden only thing that's not mario in nintendo world right here oh yeah pikmin, pikmin. Mm -hmm. yeah very this cool. is when that guy uh uh you guys had left you guys wanted to go to harry potter world yeah uh i stayed behind because i wanted to go to the bathroom not only to go to the bathroom but it was also themed yeah so that was sick <laughs> uh, i had the mario water music playing <laughs> um but i wanted to take a picture of this this is like right right outside the entrance right here this green thing is the pipe to go into the world yeah yeah um, i forgot to get a picture of that at the end so i wanted to make sure to get a picture i asked the people behind me to take this picture 
uh yeah look how happy i am <laughs> and oh so this is oh no that was one more thing i didn't mention which i will do like this wow this was at the cafe uh you mentioned your what was it toad mushroom, toad mushroom cap, soup. A soup uh this was what i got i got the garlic we we all got it actually the garlic cheese yeah, it, parmesan it, bite things i thought it was gonna be cheese on the inside but it's just that trick nope, cheese on the outside it was just a bunch of bread uh this is the special drink that they had star lemonade something smash uh it was squash? no starry lemon squash uh tiramisu block cake and then this mario burger was really really good yeah um but yeah look at the little hat the <laughs> little mustache he got to get some too um yeah this was a great great time then uh, while we're in this area they had like a video playing of like the toads getting attacked and yeah it was fun yeah the environment changed and all that the lights changed colors it was mm. super nice food was so good it was very expensive spend some money uh this is what i got uh i think i may have gotten rid of this box huh um yeah. you got one of these chocolate things too yeah i had the um the crunchy one which is a crunch bar a crispy crispy yes yeah. yeah yeah that was so good yeah i got Elio was so good plain jane because it's mario uh i got a mario cup that was fun uh the band i got a mario plushie because of course that thing from the burger i took <laughs> my headband and then i got this really cool reusable bag it's really cool um yeah it's right there he's pointing at it uh this plushie is really nice he's he's oh nice it's yeah, eating cutie <laughs> i had to get it because uh it says super nintendo world it's a different mario plush that i don't have oh cool um so that was nintendo world <laughs> and that was a hell of a day yeah, it was one big day. That was Thursday. Friday, day of the convention, we did go to Little Tokyo. I took a couple pictures of what I got there. Uh, I found Miai. Um, this was crazy. At Kinokuniya. Kinokunoya? Kinokuniya. I want to go to the one here because mm -hmm. I want to see if I can get more of these. Let's go. Let's, um, let's do it. Let's do it this weekend. Maybe this weekend. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I am <laughs> so happy that i was able to put me i in the podcast again uh, more importantly i put uh, ran back in the podcast again happy september folks uh september is um the ninth oh nice month of the year. nice good job <laughs> you've done it again um okay we're gonna <laughs> move on what else did i get oh yeah and then i got i I don't have any pre-cure figures um because frankly oh, yeah. they they suck if they made like pre-cure yudo i'd be all over that shit um but i do like to get something pre-cure whenever we go to japanese grocery stores um because they have like little blind bags with candy and stuff mm -hmm. uh, i have another thing too i didn't take a picture of it but this one i got because i missed this team i got cure butterfly uh what's cool is they actually appeared in the recent Precure. Their, their season was last season, but the team reappeared in the most recent episode of this season. So oh, that was cool. kind of cool. Um, this season right here, the dogs, the animal, animal season. Dogs. Um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, okay, so then we went to PMC. And I also got a picture with this Boom Boonger. Uh, he was cool. He didn't talk. That was that was cool. Yeah. His helmet's so good, nice. It's so nice, so yeah, legit. Yeah, he his whole suit looked really real. Uh, these were guys were cool. Yeah, full team. I kind of stopped them. Look, they're even doing something else over there. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, the whole photo. whole team, whole like his his gear, his uh power up upgrade and stuff. It was awesome. I think they were live streaming. Oh no! Did I come out on the internet again? oh wow okay did i guess those pictures were huh did you what did i come out on the internet again oh yeah yeah you did absolutely maybe i'm in a video with nmix is pretty cool it's really cool. not really but it's really cool and i also in that miai video at the end anyway um 
Yeah, this freaking guy. That was silver. Such a good Kirame silver cosplay. Like seriously, I saw him and I was like, "Hey man, can I please get a picture?" Like the 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 pants, the ah, just ah, the fur. Cool, Kirame. Yeah, the fur, the goggles. Yeah, the go oh, the, he's so he, good. He was part of the goggles too. They came out really nice. I I I, I wish I had gotten his social so I could plug <laughs> him. Um, but that was one of my favorite cosplays that I saw. This Kirame silver guy, <coughs> especially since he's like so fucking tall. <laughs> uh well to me at least no he, um, he was a tall guy i think kira silver was also tall and i just i, I miss kira major look at his freaking belt oh nice ah so good um and then this is saturday next next picture saturday oh my god i got a picture with yui koiki um i use this picture intentionally because the other one I'm gonna post on instagram uh, i look way happier but this was insane like i mentioned earlier it just happens when you meet somebody and you yeah. turn to a picture and all this um i could not look at her in the eyes or face at all oh no i just didn't i couldn't oh yeah i forgot to mention that with mine what i do du made direct eye contact with mas hero and yeah. i was talking like straight to him super straightforward no i couldn't i said uh you know Ar arigato um Thank you. I didn't really say much, honestly. And then, you know, I went for the picture. And when the her her manager, I'm gonna say manager, her manager, got my phone, and I did that pose. And then I just hear behind me, yay! And she did the pose too. Nice. Um. So that was pretty cute. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I got to meet two Gokaijers. Yeah. Uh, two years ago, I met Marvelous. If you want to see that on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, she was amazing, and I can't believe they came out in these uh, Yukatas. Oh, yeah. Marvelous had it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was a it was a good good thing that came out in these. In this, the, this, this was the second day, PMC. Yeah. Uh, also second day. Whoa, Kirby Red. This was also a really cool costume cosplay. I liked it a lot. I had to get a picture with him. He was with her too. She had a really cool um, boy. Ah, oh, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Cosplay. Uh, just look, look at me, I'm happy again. Um, and oh man, this costume was really awesome too. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Spider Kuminos. Jeremy, man. He also didn't talk. No, no, no. Or maybe no they did, and we just didn't hear him. But maybe this is the same guy because this is, this is Saturday. The other one was Friday. Oh yeah, could be the same could dude, be the same guy. Um, um, mm -hmm. Jump scare, Agito in the background. Yep. Uh, but yeah, this was great. That Spider Kumano's costumes. Look at his belt too. Like man, he has the keys. So good. Oh dude, he looked burnt in that so photo. I uh, yeah 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 yeah. This was after walking around on Friday. Yeah. In the sun. Nice. Oh yeah, and then Sunday, uh, Omar left. And we went to K Town, which is Koreatown in LA. Uh, we were walking a lot of it. Holy shit, we walked a lot on Saturday, or Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I ended up getting some Nmix albums for the newest uh, comeback. Please go listen to see that. Biol, biol, biol. See that. Uh, it's ridiculously great. And these are the PCs I pulled. Oh wow! I'm not trading. Um, they're great. Hey, do they look alike? At all? No. At all? No. Why? Uh, because people say they do. This one and this one. Hmm. No. No. Right. At the, all. The different nose and everything. Yeah. Psst. Um. And let's see. Is that it for? Oh, I forgot a couple more from. Yeah, this one. No, that was a better picture of my food that I got. I got them fries. I didn't think I got that many fries. Um, it was a good burger. It looked like a good burger. If you could see, yeah, the the. 
Burger did have the mustache like painted onto it. And Omar got the Luigi one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because he has the little hat too. Mario Burger, Luigi Burger. Um, Those are my daughters. Some of my daughters that I got. uh, Gudra and Slurpuff. I love them so much. They are part of my main team forever and ever. Um, And then... I just want to show off what I got for me. I, uh, when we came back, I pulled these for high five and that's it. And this is going to be my Toku toy time. So that was the trip to LA. That was a lot of fun. We should do it again. Let's leave on that picture real quick. Yeah, let's do it again. Um, Pokemon World is happening next year in Anaheim, Mm -hmm. and I definitely am planning to do that with a group of people. Um, So we got to do that. But I also want to go to Chicago next year. Um, I like going places and having a thing to do at least, and then building around it. So our thing to do here was Power Morphicon, and then we went to K Town, then we went to Little Tokyo, then we went to Mario or Nintendo Land, then we went to Korean Barbecue. Yep. So it. it, Next time we go, I want to have a reason to go. So we, uh, the reason could be Nintendo Land. Yeah. And then uh, build around it too. But we'll see. The reason could be just to go see your people in LA. Yeah, that is cheaper, huh? <laughs> um, and then I'll get into my Toku Toy Time. That's what I built. I built Siberius. I built that. Evil robot from Q Ranger and then Caesar. Looks really came look re- looks Whoa. really cool. It came out really nice. Yeah. The uh the Malgum, whatever that fucking robot thing, um, is one of the shittiest mini ply I've ever built. <laughs> yeah. why, why is that? He is it's like garbage. All hollow. Oh no. And he has very limited articulation. That's all hollow. That's um, crazy. A, a point for them, though, they don't ever do the bad guy robots. Yeah, true. Um, so this succeeded, preceded, excuse me, this preceded Hakaiser from Zenkaiser. Yeah. And yeah, that yeah. mini plot is ridiculously cool. That's way more, f- or f- way more featured than this guy. Um, but I'm grateful because I I'm, I'm, I have finished all my Q Ranger mini plot. Now I only have four boxes of mini plot to finish. Um, and there's oh no, yeah, yeah. I'll get to him. Hey. Uh, that's it. Nice. Let's take a break. Uh, or do you want to cut the? podcast now mm. it's an hour we're in we're an hour in we're an hour in and it's 11 40 yeah i got really late really quickly yeah so we'll just have this be our <clears throat> california trip vlog yay or you know recap uh that's a good one <laughs> oh you didn't add the picture uh <laughs> of us at the universal studio logo the, the brother's photo uh did i take that i don't mean i don't think i took a picture on my phone with that no i don't think i did i think omar has those i have it you have it too yes let me see camera that was at the end right yeah it was at the end of universal studios um no i do not have any of those pictures oh my goodness um so we'll we'll, we'll record we'll we'll how do you want to hmm, i'll ask you that after yeah off, ca- off camera this is the end of the la vlog la trip um it was a lot of fun i want to go to nintendo land again i want to go to little tokyo again i want to go to k-town again that was i had a lot of fun there um i want to try food in k-town though because uh, all we did was basically <laughs> ray just took me uh, took us took me and you were there yeah i was just chilling uh, <laughs> i was just walking around to all the k-pop stores i was just chillaxing and um i one of my favorite things on that day was i was looking for me i stuff I don't have those photos i don't have that photo then then omar has to have them it's crazy 
I was looking for Mi stuff, and most of the places I went to at least knew who I was talking about. So that's a game. That's a win. Yeah. One of them even had an empty shelf where they had Mi stuff. Um, one of the, yeah, one of the one of the workers actually. Oh, uh, they were at KCON, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, they were. Uh, <laughs> and so was I. Um, but yeah, that was that was cool. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna take a break. When we come back, it might be a different day. It might be a different podcast, or we're gonna continue this. That's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Do you want to do this all as one episode, or do you want to separate them into two episodes? Oh, I don't know. I think it should be one long episode. We're just going to stop recording here. Yeah. Record the second part talking about the episodes, Mm -hmm. and then put it all out as a... Yeah, I think we can do that, because that way we'll we'll be able to limit the Gotchard and Boom Boonger discussions to an hour. True that, yeah. And then, yeah, let's do that. We can even do it before we go to the movie tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, do, will we have time for that? Yeah, we're not going to get home that late. True that. From work. Yeah, true that. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that. So, we're going to take a break. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to talk about... Super Hero Time. We'll be right back. And we're back five days later. Let's continue this conversation. Yep. Last time we were here, we were talking about our LA trip. Yeah, the end of California. And our Toku toy time that uh, we did for what it covered three weeks? Mm hmm. Yeah. Three whole weeks. Speaking of, we're behind now three weeks on Gav. Yeah, three whole weeks. Because a third episode just came out. Yesterday. Uh, if it makes anybody feel better, I haven't seen, well, we haven't seen any of those episodes y- subbed yet. Yeah, no superhero times. I haven't caught the last two live. Um, I only saw the first one live. First one was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, this will be, I don't want to say half because I doubt this is going to be as long as the last recording we did. Yeah. Uh, but this will be the continuation and start completion com- conversation of the final Gotchard episode. The last of Gotchard. You know, we we took so long on this. Or maybe this talks to Gotchard's turnaround, but the Gotchard Director's Cut episode came out already. That's the latest entry that's here already. In in the wiki? Yeah, in the wiki. Yeah. That, that's the latest thing. Three weeks after the ending of the episode, the director's cut came out. Now, here's what's crazy. If you can go check Geats' uh, director's cut episode and see how long it took for that to come out, I feel like this one was short. The the amount of time for the Geats, sorry, the Gotchard director's cut. And the main reason I think think it's short is because i saw what they added mm-hmm. have you seen or heard what they were besides what you read maybe no i haven't seen or heard anything about that uh it was three minutes oh wow three minutes got added and i don't know if geats actually even had a director's cut hey, i don't see anything about okay, that here so i don't yeah because i dumb brothers had a director's cut um and then king Oger had that movie cut that put the last three episodes into like one mm. um Oh, Tony. Yes. We're here. It's the end. Thoughts. Of Gotchard. Oh, gold. It's crazy to see that. So it's it's three months out. Three months. It's been three weeks out, right? So I've had a lot of time to think about this ending. And I think it's as solid as they could have made it. Trying oh. to... I thought you were going to say solid as gold. Huh. Solid as platinum. It was. It's as solid as they oh, could the have steam liner, made no. it. Uh, ad- trying to complete everything and how they wanted to make everything nice and tidy for it all. Uh, they rushed some things like this final form and the death of uh, Lachesis or Clotho. Yeah. Forgetting their names already. In three weeks. 
uh, <clears throat> this this uh, fake out of them being sort of dead, you know, in gold at the beginning of the episode, and then them coming back towards the later part of the episode when Godshard, you know, makes that second Earth. Uh, I mean, we all saw that coming. We knew that. Uh, for for clarity, the a leak came out about four or five days before this episode came out. Yeah, originally, like. like way earlier than yeah even regular episode leaks like sometimes it's like a day or maybe two days before yeah this one was like on monday or like some monday. shit but the monday before this aired on sat on the it was before we even got to fucking yeah it was i think it was a f- yeah it was on monday because it was a few days before we had even left for california and, yes, and, and, and we had read it then then i ask you yeah before we even got on the- either way um uh we did watch this in the hotel live. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we did on your laptop on the my Wi-Fi. Did you connect to the no. internet to the hotel? It was on my hotspot. It was your house. So you on? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it worked. It looked, it looked fine. Yeah, we, we we saw it the way we usually see it, kind of um, poopy quality. Yeah. So this is the end of it all. This is what Grayon's big thing was, his whole the El Dorado and all that. His cube in the sky. His non-plan. Which is, uh, that's cool. That's the actual cube. It's not like a CG cube. It's the actual cube, which is like his face planted on it. Oh, that's a CG cube. Okay, I see it. Um, yeah, because those are, like, one of the easiest things to render. Yeah. Cubes. Uh, Zyorger. Uh, this ending was meh. It finished everything off. It was okay. It was good. No, it didn't. It 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 tried what it did. It did what it could, and it made the most of the resources it had at the time. Uh, being that these this ended, uh, this plot point right here. All of the plot points that were going on throughout the series were ending slowly, little by little, one by one, as the series was coming to an end. But they were still making more things and adding more to the story as it went on. That by the end of the series, you get, okay, the beginning of the series, we finished that sort of story. The first 10 episodes, we, we cleared that story up. But now there's all this stuff at the second half of the story that still has all this open-ended stuff. And it doesn't feel like they have a need or a want to complete anything like that. No, they have a need. They don't, they don't have a want. Yeah. There's no like urgency for the story itself to finish anything up like with legend or like with um hotoro's big shot alchemy stuff or how he can make another world and all that because he's a he's the common writer right or his fucking father yeah or his dad uh it's just a lot of stuff like that where they had stuff that was added later on that they just didn't care to end about but the stuff that they put in the beginning they really tried to finish it off and that's really what i'm trying to say is that the ending of this show clears the ending for if you only see the first 10 episodes i thought the dad was in the first episode or the picture of him was um yeah yeah he was yeah it's it's just it's a shame because they could have not done anything with that they could have like maybe in the first episode maybe sprinkled every now and then but it was like maybe twice a month, three times a month. They brought up his dad and how, oh, you must be so proud of him or whatever. Any any little thing they said about him, and there was dick about it at the end. And normally, um, this is something else. When I was talking about how the director's cut came out three weeks after, I thought it was fast. It, I, I guess Kamara doesn't really get director's cut episodes. But they felt they need to do that here because there was some exclamation that remained to be seen. There was nothing on his father in that director's cut. And... They um, like you were saying, they they tied up everything. I don't think they felt a need to do anything with with his dad. I, I mm-hmm. there was if they would at the end of this episode, at the airing at the end of the airing of this episode, normally for writer, that's when they announce their VCNX projects. Mm-hmm. Nothing for Gotcha. Right. There, there's nothing, and back in the day around, like the Shinkandra times, um. Uh, it would be very like structured. Shouldn't get your decade, whatever times. Um, it would be very structured. You could see, okay, here's the show. Here's 
one VC next. There's one versus movie. There's one summer movie. There's one film. Like you can see where it all goes. And it was like that uniformly for years. Mm. And we got so used to that that even when it changed, we're like, oh, okay. Now we're going to do this instead. Um, so we would get like a, a, a VC next after every writer. Uh, so much so that whenever this happened and it didn't get announced for Gotchard, then people were like, people, me, um, fans were like, wait, where's where's the Visa Next explanation? Even when the leak came out and people were saying, you know, this is all that's going to happen. Uh, a lot of, I saw a lot of people being like, oh, okay, they'll probably explain it in the Visa Next. Oh, they'll probably talk about it in another, another summer movie or whatever. N- no. I don't, I don't know if they are. Our only hope really now, since we don't have any announcements for a Visa Next, is the next crossover movie, which would be this winter. It would be Gotchard mm-hmm. and Gav. Yeah. I bet you Legend's going to be in it. Um, Because I don't know how they're going to... It kind of reminds me of the Shinkinger... Uh, Shinkinger, God damn it. The Decade double thing mm. where what writer was the writer of that year you mm-hmm. know um not really because those are two main show writers and they both had their own seasons but decades was so short you know and then <clears throat> legend he's not like a name of the show but he's treated like a main writer uh so much so that he's there at the handoff whenever they see, see gav yeah the uh, legend is there and he you know helps gav start off or whatever kind of like uh with Lupat, where there's two teams that one year mm-hmm. so they both sort of get equal lighting in terms of like marketing and stuff like that um yeah i'm not really sure oh this was like the sponsor screen yeah um usually we get cards here yeah this was uh just a giant spoiler for, yeah, <laughs> for, for the, the end ending. of the episode <laughs> Like literally the end of the episode. It's also the picture on the wiki right here too. <laughs> oh yeah, this not this one, the clear one, right? The, yeah, the clear the, one. The one that's actually uh, the actual shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. I. I, uh, I think their eyes were bigger than their stomach in making Gotchard. Um. I think they really wanted the cards to take off and their fail safe in case it didn't was legend. Um, because we know you don't have to know much, but we know that cards is a collectible gimmick. Cheap. Yeah. Very That's like cheap. the cheapest, the cheapest yeah. collectible you can make cheaper than toy cars, cheaper than little video game cartridges. If you get lock it, fruit seeds, whatever, if you get it right and you get the gimmick, the uh, theme of it, right and like you catch if you're very lucky with it it's like printing money yes but that, that's rare uh, i guess i don't know how blade sales were um but i don't know if blade had like legend writer cards right yeah they didn't that's all they really got to do to get the cards to sell and i think what's really telling about them not being so sure about cards selling with got chart is the fact that they are cards Mm -hmm. where in alchemy do cards play a a, a role right i I, I don't know do you no no no. i I don't know of any like cards have you seen fma that's the only basis i have for alchemy yeah they do use cards in that but it's not like it's like more like tarot it's it's tarot cards right that's what i thought not like not like pokemon cards cards. and it it, it wouldn't be like yeah like a Yu-Gi-Oh card where like it's summoning a monster so that goes back to mm-hmm. me basically all the series talking about how this was just magic. Yeah. It never really was alchemy. It's uh, Hogwarts. E- even especially at the end of this, isn't a big thing about alchemy that the transference of matter or something, like n- everything that gets used, mm-hmm. it's everything that's created is from something before. So you know, you know what I mean? Right. It? It's as above, so below. Transitive properties? Yes. Yeah the gold where'd that come from yeah and then he used that to just make a planet yeah um right so when you make a planet out of gold it turns the whole planet into gold right so he takes all the gold of the planet and then makes it into a new planet well the whole thing with the el dorado is that it can turn any any stone or any metal into gold right 
uh but if it's already turned into gold you can't take that away yeah. and then make another planet because it already is that you can't create something out of nothing yeah it's like the whole thing all he did excuse me was piss on everything because it turned everything piss gold yeah and then Hotaro took the gold away he, yeah. like he covered everything in gold he didn't turn anything to gold right that just covered that's things the big in thing gold. he just tur he just covered it with gold so the earth, the second earth should be like very small that and everybody should have been still be able to move because mm -hmm. they weren't turning into gold they were getting covered in gold uh just like at the end when Hot uh, at the end in the middle when Hotaro gets turned to gold he still moves yeah because he's just covered in gold he's not ah. um this is a kid show they didn't you know they're not thinking about logic and loopholes it's just if you're gonna name something alchemy do it go for it you know um there's the mama there's mom she's stuck in that set forever she's yeah. never left this set yeah what is it her uh Awesome outfit too. She's never changed her outfit either. She's always in the same. You know, it'd be awesome <laughs> if they filmed all of her stuff for like the yeah. first week yeah. of the, that they were filming, and then they never called her back for anything else. Have you seen his Instagram since Gotchard finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy's ripped. Yeah, he's ripped. He's Boy's like, he's, crazy. He's yoked. shredded. Yeah, he's starting to get like uh, Gakusano. Whenever he was like during game. During game, yeah, yeah. He may be like this too, but they never let us see they it. No. Cause it's all about alchemy it's not about strength like yeah. physical strength and then uh so he's going out here on instagram showing pictures of his abs and shit and you know renee she's gonna be in a magazine yeah i saw that too yikes yeah yeah because she's still 17 17 i think she, she yeah, just she's turned, turned 17 during the show so yikes um but this dude's what 20 already he's he was already like he, he's 20 yeah, yeah. he was already older he's i think a year younger no like two years younger than me and you yeah oh yeah that's right that's yeah right. um but yeah it's really because like you see those instagram pictures and maybe he could pull off a more serious like dude with a different haircut probably but man they kept him so goofy yeah he, he's very Muppet uh, man. childlike the entire time. And that's intentional, of course. Um, but if we can get four Geats in one movie, mm. let's do a thing where like a dark alchemist thing happens. And that would be cool. Odorog has a spiky hair now or some shit. So we can see his like potential. Hotoro with spiky hair? Hey, it's me, Goku. Because, you know, even um, <laughs> Iki was like a goofy icky uh from yeah, Revice. Yeah, yeah, Revice. but they had the bath house so mm -hmm. he was he you could see him he was also mm -hmm. um yoked up he was ripped but he was yeah. definitely silly mm -hmm. um but he also had moments where he had his family he could like get emotional with vice leaving he could get emotional with it was that was always like in the beginning of that show it was always uh his brother live that would come up that would cause that emotional conflict and then that would bring out Iki's side yeah or just vice being a dickhead yeah um yeah he's squeezing her uh i like that she made exactly five because she knew how many she knew uh, she knew exactly how many she knew kyoka had already turned and minato sensei i, I like the thought of she made five just for him like, yeah like he was he was supposed to uh -huh. chow down yep. but they only, he only needed one it was all right yeah everybody got one yeah she's like i hope that's enough she goes yeah my friends my friends friends you should have told me it's a crazy shot ipad kid looks crazy yeah no yeah so does ringe yeah then all they all look unwell except for spanner finally Spanner looks normal without the purple accents that's weird uh, Rene looks like a 10 year old nice hey those cannons uh q ranger cannons. q ranger love that actually uh one of the things that they added in the the director's cut is do you tell me if this is vital information that they had to cut okay because i because i haven't seen the director's cut yet you want me to tell you what they yeah some yeah, of yeah. the stuff some of the stuff i remember top of my head um they showed how they made that freezing potion inside the thing oh okay do you need did you need that explained no no 
because they recorded it, they filmed it, and everything. We know that it's just whatever, right? Yeah, because oh, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, they can, can do, do that. that. Yeah, they can yep. do that. Yeah, no, because they're they alchemists. Mm -hmm. Full metal alchemists. Yeah. Um. If he can just make everything gold. Remember, there was like a couple episodes where he wasn't doing anything on purpose because he was making these, I guess? Yeah. The troopers? Yeah, he he needed that iPad with the AI because he was making all those. He had to make them one by one, I guess, because that's the process that they showed. But do you think they all fit in that cube? Or is this also just magic? Throwing the I think it's also just magic. <laughs> yeah. Nice shot. Toy shot. Look at all these toys. Oh, look at all those cards. Spanner got lost in the compression. Holy shit. He only has three pixels to work with. Oh, wow. There they are. It's because that fucking... It's because those flames, man. Those flames take up so much it's render the, space. The, the, the flames and... um, I think his color. Mm, it's just yeah. easy to get muddier. Silver. Um, and then they fight... They fight those troopers. They don't ever say the names or like really give a really good close up shot of these guys. But you don't really you don't really need to know. No. Dread Trooper. Oh. Yeah, the Dread you don't have to know. If you've seen the movie, then I guess you know. But I have not seen the movie. This uh oh right, we still have the movie though. That's what No. That hasn't come out yet, has it? No, that that one hasn't come out yet cuz cuz that has the decade Cameo, right, that just happened. But we do need to watch. No, we did see that. The Gotcha Geats movie. Yeah, the Gotcha Geats movie. No, we didn't. We didn't see that. Majade's, uh, uh, Majade's oh, yeah, debut. Majade, yeah, yeah Majade's we haven't debut. seen that. And the fucking ramen bowls. Yeah, the ramen bowls. Um, so this isn't them, right? He just recreated them. Yeah, they're dolls. So they're like dolls. Okay. Yeah. It's so, the, the, these are my new puppets. So they're here with. fighting. Oh yeah. Where did she get all these cards from? I'm sure they store them with the with the dread driver. Uh, is it a dread driver? Yeah, that's what she has, isn't it? It sure is. Yep. And then like, there's also already dark versions of Dragonalos and all the yeah, all the level tens. She uses ten level tens, and she tries like one last kick, but obviously not. You get wrecked the whole series. Yep. The whole series get He's wrecked. He's not even Um. Tell me why these are dolls and Spanner is talking to this one like it's him. Like it's him personally, and yeah. He god damn like, oh, you're almighty and you're gonna fall and become a doll like this. He's well, not actually there. For what? Like for you? To make you feel better that you killed him earlier? Or I, I guess that's the catharsis of it, yeah. It's just for him. It's just for it'd be like, yeah. Yeah. I'm and Spanner. Then, and then we turn to Saber for a little bit. A saber is your hand. A saber in your hand turns into a rider kick. Turns, <laughs> shit. Uh, it looks better than saber for sure. Oh, definitely. But they keep doing this. Yeah, the lead up, the roadway up to the thing. Yeah. I feel like somebody else had this. Um, not that I remember. Didn't Revice have something like this with Geats? Oh, Geats had it. Geats had this. Was it Geats? Yeah, Geats had this. The uh, Geats had the always the final bites, the final. The final boss fights where uh -huh. it was him riding his motorcycle around, 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 around. Uh, oh, with the big monster. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, see right here. It's like, that's not him, dude. You know that's not him. Yeah, the doll is a husk. It's a shell. And then, because she has her final form, she's got to be getting wiped, I guess. She's getting sweeped. Yeah. So that her dad can come save her. That's crazy still. I don't like her dad. Her dad being, like, it just... His purpose is to just steal her thunder. Mm -hmm. It sucks. And where were you earlier? At all? That's a cool shot. That is a cool shot. Man, that suit would be so much cooler if it wasn't yellow. Yeah. Oh, man. That yellow is bumming me out. Yeah, you can see you can see the difference between their suits. She's got gold. Yeah. And he's got piss. Man, it's bumming me out because that's a really nice red and that blue gem on his forehead with the pegasus that's super nice the black is a good like matte shiny color a mm -hmm. good glossy but that yellow is taking me out oh yeah if it was blue probably would be nice but not got charged blue yeah um and she also talks to her like she knows her too yeah 
She's like, I got somebody I want to see in the future or some shit like this. You know, maybe may, may, maybe they just didn't hear him. He was too far away in the cube. Oh, this is good. He drives all the way up and he crashes into the cube and then he just he goes into the lair. Right as soon as she's dying. I just realized it's the same spot. That's not. Clotho. It's not the same oh, spot. Oh, yeah. she He ran to her, right? Yeah, but it's the same. Yeah, it's the same place. He ran to her, and then she fell in his arms, but, like, <laughs> it's the same shot. It's a green screen, baby. Yeah. Um, why the hell is she dying in his fucking arms? They had one thing. It's not, it's, 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 it's like they try to do this connection that, like, Rene and, uh... Yeah, with the Spanner has. Spanner and Lachesis, Rene and, and, and Atropos. Um, but it's super weird, because Gotchard... Except for that one time where he's like, you want to be friends? And she's like, fuck yourself. And that was it, That right? whole conversation, that was the whole conversation. Yeah. And then here, oh, another thing about her that I don't think they wrapped up or really addressed that well. Whenever were they a family? Whenever did she ever... Like, see them as a family? See them as, like, an actual, like, a family. Yeah, that that's something, like, you as a fan has to, like, really accept... Because, you know, they were dolls for, like, what, 15 years together? Uh, uh, I don't know. Some, something like know. that. Like, ten, No, it was 10. 10 years. They were dolls for 10 years. So, I mean, I guess they got familiar. But you don't see that in the show. And it's not explicitly said. No. I mean, the whole time, the, the when we first see them, they're asses to each other. All of them. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, I just want us to be together again. Family again. I know, you like, maybe you yearn... The camaraderie? Yeah. Or whatever, but... Emily? Um, yeah, in the beginning of the series, it seemed like they were... I mean, they were the Abyllus sisters, right? But they were always more of, like, the evil co-workers. Yeah, especially with how... Um, Atropos bossed them around. Yeah. Clotho was definitely, like, the bumbling... Uh, not bumbling, the... Uh, the meathead. The meathead, the 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 brawn, yeah, the brawn of the group, you know. Like before, they wouldn't like hold hands like that. No. And I think she's the only one we see mm -hmm. die like that. Yeah, she's the only one to have to have her doll disintegrate. In the other times, at the beginning of the series, you see the dolls that are reanimated; they get disintegrated. But now it's her turn. Yeah, because. Mm, excuse me. One lives inside Renee's head, and the other one is inside the ground. Yeah, straight and up. This one is a doll. So oh, I want to see that director's cut. So she what? Spanner has to bury. Yeah, the all pieces. of them. All of them have to get together and yikes! He uses the sh the wrench. Oh uh, no. Um, there you go. Him and his 10 by 4 platforms. Oh, yeah. He gets him out. It's time to fight, dude. Where, where's Hopper? Hopper well, Juan? Why couldn't it be the little doll? Oh, you know why. Why? Because that doll would be terrible to have in the CG room with that yellow light. That is true. It would look so bad. It would look like... Uh, what's green and yellow? Orange? What's green and yellow? Yeah, the colors. Oh, green, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow. Green, yeah, there's not It would a... look so bad. Um, right, but I've seen where in Zenkaiger, whenever they did their powers, and you know how the Sentai would pop up, pose, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then go, mm -hmm. they would have teams where they would have a blue and a green team, a green member on the team. Yeah. So if they're all in front of a green screen, how do you do that? Or if they're all in front of a blue screen, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. What they would do, since all they were doing was posing, they would have four of the members on a blue screen. Or green screen. Oh, okay. And then the fifth member, who's either green or blue, whatever, would be by themselves uh -huh. on a what green or blue screen. Oh, okay. But all four of them, or all five of them, would still be standing next to each other. It's yeah. just, you know, one pa So they could have done that here, where they had one square of blue. Yeah, just for him. And then had, or even, the CG uh, hopper one that they use all the time. Yeah. Been flying right there. And the only reason it sticks out to me is because this motherfucker pops out. Yeah, that blue. <clears throat> so why couldn't we have both animalitos, both, you know, figures there? 
you know it's really it's funny you say that because that left side i mean i'm sure that's just a screenshot but that looks so compressed uh, yeah it, it might have been it's there weird. and they just took it out in post and put black in the background yeah i don't i don't know it's 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 just weird decisions that they were making um not that that would change this scene much it would make proper ones bond a little stronger because he's not hiding behind the card he's it's like if squirtle <laughs> was there rallying with me and instead of him popping out it's him and his pokeball oh the yeah. pokeball is moving around like yeah i'm here to help you too yeah that's what that red like to me here um that's that's cool they actually they're little godzillas made more of a reference yeah they more love them like being monsters out yeah behind them uh, you know big kaiju behind them they had them do this thing which was i, I appreciate that i appreciate this too yeah them in the suits finally look at them is it actually them in the helmets too no nah, yeah it must uh, be That's yeah for this part yeah yeah Man, look at that high difference. He's a little boy. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Well, I mean, he's got platforms, right? Yeah. Uh, you can tell by their head shape. Yeah. He's more zoomed in. Mm hmm And look at his belt on the left. Yeah, I can't even see the belt on the other side. Yeah. I see it. I understand. Man, those cannons are so cool. Like, they have, like, regular clips. Yeah. For the straps. God, it's so cool. <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm so I was I was sick of this. Yeah, these extra guys. These characters are just the. I think I've said it before. Um, you know the the civilians of King Oger, extremely stupid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the civilians of Gotchard, always bad. Oh my god, yeah. they're so stupid. Like even after everything that happened. This even more need they needed proof that the alchemists are good. Mm -hmm. What? Man, I love that they just have normal ass swords. I, I love, like. I love that. I like that. What? Well, it's funny that the 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 smoke or freeze whatever thing like immediately works on them. It's not like yeah slowly make turn into stone. It's just boom. Yeah, they're just done. That's a great shot. That's a really good shot. That's a Twitter photo. I think I'm gonna put it on Twitter. Um, I, okay, I want to know where this came from. This weapon? Yeah. So that's Minato's uh, staff. That's a that's a He's, that's a that's a priest staff. But he, where did he get it? Yeah. The prop closet. Yeah. We only that's had also it a good picture. That's a good picture. Those random civilians in the back. I hope she gets more work after this. She deserves better. Give her a visa next. This joke, like it's this, just it's just them two left. So, either show them how to make the formula or this. What do you want? Oh, show them how to make the formula. I think. I I just don't know why they had to put this joke in because it's a joke. It's supposed to, like, yeah, let's go, guys. And he turns around and they're already. Yeah, they already left to go join or whatever. I was like, "Oh, nobody." All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, he does this double sword thing. Time for the final attack ride. This was cool. Kind of, they do their little cyclone kick thing. What? What? What did they say there? There's something about wind and like. There's something there. It, they, they, there was a cool comment in there that I forget now. And they're walking up. They thankfully took away uh, Spanner's slow walk and robot noises. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I like that decision. That's very good. Cutting it? Yeah, cutting out the um, robot noises. Um, It is funny that, like, you see where they're at now? Mm. Now they're here. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs> Everything is so close to each other. How long hey, the walk was that? Even at the end, whenever uh, Gotchard takes the gold back. Mm-hmm. And then he's still fighting uh, Dorado, Minato, and Kyoka just. Oh yeah, they just show right up. There. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Minato was on the roof, well, not on the roof, but you know, on top of that building, uh -huh. like the fifteenth floor or whatever. So is Kyoka. Oh, they both were. Yeah, yeah they, were they were both, both way up there. up 
So then they instantly got de-golded and then immediately and transported to where they were. There. Um, Golded. Yeah, he's gold. Got him. And then... Uh, Which loses the super gacha brothers and then they turn all the gacha brothers into gold. And then all the combinations into gold. Uh, I like this little 10-15 second clip of him just turning everything into gold. Because he should have just been doing this the whole time. Yep. Or the whole time. Uh, so it's cool. That it, okay, this is what he can do. And you can see it and show it. Look at that. Those look so good. Platina. Yeah. And then his driver gets messed up. And then... Oh, yeah. That was the whole point. Where he needed that to make... Right, because he has, like, an inferior copy. Which is his uh, El Dragoon. So he just needed that one. So the plan was, I guess, to turn them bigger. To turn everything gold faster. Yeah. Look at him. It's the eyes, y'all. Is it the eyes? It's the eyes. Well, okay, it's a lot of it. Do you think if the eyes were glossed over, it'd look better? I think so. Yes. Yeah. If they weren't... I don't, I don't like looking at it, though. Look! Look, she looks fine. Uh, Renge. But Rene has that shit with the eye. Look, you see? Yeah. Even Tabi Maru's eyes look better. I think it's because they highlight the whites in the eyes a lot more. It looks bad. I don't know why i guess they just then <laughs> maybe they just passed the filter on it like okay that's it it's Prob good. probably they passed the filter once and there it is if i had to guess the rotoscope took like an hour and that's like not a lot of time to do four characters piss world there it is that'd be so bright and so hot instantly mm -hmm. and heavier and heavy. way heavier so heavy. such a stupid plan um he did it. And then he keeps moving. But guess what? He's the main character. Yeah. I do like this a lot. He just punches. He just socks him in the face. Yeah. As we've seen before in very few clips, Hotaro can just produce hands like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just produces hands yeah. whenever he wants, I guess. He uses it on the final boss. And then he does alchemy to make a new driver. Uh, P. Bandai Red version. Oh. Why red? Uh, isn't that Daybreaks? Uh, I don't know. I think Daybreaks is also red. Oh, I was thinking because <clears throat> it's the philosophy because it's the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone's red. Where Possibly. is the Philosopher's Stone now? Uh, it's not real. No, in here. Oh, in the show. Um, I think still with uh, Dorado in the cube. Right. So yeah, he has it all. Yeah, okay. he still has it. And then these are kind of different versions of these cards too. I shouldn't say it's not real because it's just ha it's never been found. Oh, like the Grand Lion. Yeah, like the Grand Lion. Like the One Piece. Like the One Piece. Grand Lion's been found. Yeah. People travel um, that all the time. And then we get our favorite Rewa trope where the final form is the same suit. Yeah, it's the base form. The base form. But with a different belt or a different gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't... I, it, what was it called? There was a name for it. There's a name for it. I uh, totally forget. It's... Because uh... I remember the main thing that got me was in Saber when that happened. And then that one, it was called Almighty. Because that's the name of the intro. It's a pretty good one. They even had a Wonder Book that played... Oh, it's Ultima. There it is. Ultima. Like the car? Yeah. Or, no. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, like the, yeah, like the car. Ultima. Is it down there? Like the car on the bottom. <laughs> Ultima. Um. Yeah, Ultima Hopper 1 and Ultima Steamliner in the yeah. Ultima Gotcha Driver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 that happened in Eats too, right? Where it was the ultimate? No, where he was base form. But he was base form. Like, he didn't do I th I th yeah, a I think different was, version like a little bit, yeah. of base form. I actually don't remember the final fight in Geats at all. No, yeah, but you're right. It was uh, it was Geats, Nago, and Keiwa, uh, Tycoon, that got transformed. It was the end of the Game Master yeah. stuff, so they could do, like, whatever the hell they wanted. 
Yeah. So it was like a Final Destination, no items yeah. type deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were base. And they were base, yeah. Because they had that power to be. And Revice. Revice was the uh, two double stamp big ones, but it was no, the same. They did go to base yeah, to yeah. fight each other. Yeah, it was the double stamp, but it was just the same suit. It wasn't yeah. the regular stamp. It was like the super nice stamp. The one that had the crocodile t uh, openings. T-Rex. Uh, that's the whole yeah. uh, motif of Vi Revice. Uh, zero one. Oh, this is the... Fuck, I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out what the screenshot was. It's Earth on the right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. New Earth on the left. He's taking all the shit and moving it over. That's crazy. New Earth. And it's right next to our Earth. Yeah. So this happened in Build. Yep. He just hands, just produces hands. Whatever he wants. This is where it was going. Remember that? And then boom. Yeah. Um and he hits them to that other planet. See that they're just there. <laughs> they show up. Yeah, they're chilling. And they show up to watch the fight on another planet. Like, they don't see anything anymore. They're, yeah. It's done. It's gone. He's gone. Who they, knows what happens? They moved over there. And he crash lands. Um, so they, they did this in build. And... Yeah. Yeah. I hate that they did this. Made a new Earth. It's very... Um, it's, a, it's a deus ex, right? It's deus ex machina. It's just, it's not what Hotoro wanted. No. He wanted the hop, the hoppers, the, the chemis to live in peace with the people. Yeah. They're not going to do that shit if they have their own planet. And they're not going to have their own, they're not going to ever do it because at the end of the <clears throat> series, the Gotchard gang comes back here to make sure it's habitable. Yeah. For the chemis. Yeah. Because I guess they're staying there. Yeah, I guess they're staying because it's like. In the beginning of the show, it's like, oh, we need chemis and humans to coexist. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. like, it's an analogy, right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be like, okay, this is to teach kids, like, how to be better, like, to not be so discriminatory, right? But then at the end of the series, it's like, okay, how do we fix discrimination? Put them somewhere else. Yep. Put them somewhere else, and then we'll be okay. That speaks to what I was saying, where they just didn't know, like, yeah, they didn't, they didn't know how to end this. Yep. I don't, they... I don't think they did a good job tying up the shit like at all um, because the main writer didn't even get his gotcha his gotcha was that Kami's and humans yeah, live together lives together that didn't fucking happen it's so weird that that just that's just, that's how they choose to end this shit um, and again they could have done a visa next where oh we're gonna try to incorporate them together and, and whatever like imagine if zero one ended with Aruto moving all the um, human gears all the human gears to another planet or to the moon or whatever <laughs> yeah. or to the ark you know yeah to the ark and they, they just live there and like oh my you know mm -hmm. the human gears are still alive they're just not living with their humans any i don't know it's just, it, it defeats the purpose of what he wanted mm -hmm. yeah here yeah. it is and it's not really because he was uh he was not henchened in that other screenshot look at that Look at these JPEGs. Some of them have 3Ds, but most of them are JPEGs. Uh, I like that the only one that, or the only, no, yeah, the only one that's real is a wizard. Oh, like a person yeah, in like a suit? Person, yeah. yeah. Um, no, wait, what's that down there? That's something down there. What's what down there? That's a JPEG, the eraser. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Is the bike real? No. no probably not. No, yeah. Well, I mean, you see that back, that back gold right there. Oh yeah, yeah. It, the the, the only one there is uh, Time Lord. Wizard. Time Lord still being the most OP, and they don't use it for much. Uh, that's a weird 3D that we didn't see in the show. Which one? This one? No, the, the mantis. The the one above that. Uh, this thing. Yeah. What is that? What is that? That's a spider, isn't oh. it? The spider from I don't know. Possibly. Oh, okay. that, that, that CG Triceratops. Oh, yeah. Good one. The Mammoth. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, um, look at all those planets in the sky. I'm sure there's a reason 
but I don't see Steamliner or Hopper one. Are they in the belt? I think they pop out. No, oh, they're in the yeah, yeah, yeah. But they pop out during it too. They sure do. But I think it's because they maybe pop out here in the next thing or something. Um, yeah, he uses his X powers. He then, gets all the Rexes. Yeah. X Wizard. I think this is the hardest stance any Raywa rider has had for a final form kick. Theme liners? Or yeah. What's his name? Gachardos. Yeah. His karate kid, karate kid stance. It's so cool looking. Final red kick, like the first red kick. It's a yeah. hopper, and then it goes back to the Umin. Mm -hmm. And then they do a uh, final kick. But he has the power of all the Kimmies. Yeah. But he has the power of all the Kimmies. Yeah. He was washing him. And then on the kick, he needed the Kimmies help. There's the thing. The I like how this is resolved, kind of. <clears throat> Look at that. Gotcha. That's a man who works out right there. Yeah, you can't. This is the only glimpse of it right here. Final episode. There's a yoked up man right there. That man eats protein daily. He's in post. He's in post. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the thing I didn't have was the the uh, sorcerer stone getting to each of them. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that the sorcerer stone gets into each of them. That archer does not have to be that freaking huge. <laughs> um, way off in the distance. I and steamliner being a. a tr uh, like a dragon in the back um i appreciate that th this like implies it'd be harder to get the stone now like you have to track down all the camis and everything yeah, 101 camis um and then kill 101 camis that's what i'm saying like, yeah it, but it kind of puts a target on their backs as well yep um yeah oh and then he just turns to dust yeah oh he said truly this is this is truly beautiful um this is, oh, what's this fucking phrase? He said something at the end where it's like, okay, he's okay with dying. This is truly beautiful. This is mastery, master alchemy, alchemy, mastery, something like that. And then phone call with his boyfriend. What was it two months later? Like a week long later? Long range. What is it? Long range? Long distance boyfriend. Long distance relationships. And she's still fucking in the kitchen. Um interdimensional phone whatever i'd love that in tokusatsu shows it's just like a whatever phone sure it just goes works. wherever it connects like that and that whatever what's your number like they don't even, exactly <laughs> like let me let's exchange details should i have you here lowercase or uppercase wait what um siri call uh oh character development he has put away his bangs yay everybody yay he put away his bangs and he's now um so this is the, the, their second years so he's now a third year at this university or at this academy and now he's teaching the first years again you like this part huh it's great it's really good i think this is like the most funny part of the episode this because he had dick else to do yeah no he's not doing nothing <laughs> there was no like he didn't have like an update like he telling uh legend over the phone yeah and then Minato like laughed at this joke huh <laughs> He was a teacher uh, before it started many years, and he was he's going to be a teacher after the show ends. It wasn't even like a joke. Like, yeah. Uh. I mean, I was going to have fun wrestling all the new students. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when she put the chessboard out like for herself to like, just look at and be sad? Yeah. Now they're using it. And guess what? Spanner gets washed. <sighs> There's plants everywhere. Now. Man, she's so pretty. Do you follow her? On anything? I don't think so. She twitch. She streams on Twitch. What? Yeah. She streams on Twitch. She streams on Twitch. She streams on which? She uh, I don't remember what she was playing last time, but she does not have a face cam. It's just her gameplay straight up. She's a fucking gamer. It's got like. She's a gamer. Yeah. Um, that's another good Twitter screenshot. That's another one too. But no, maybe not. She looks too shiny. What the fuck? what her neck dude yeah you never I, you never i told you we but we probably brought right? it up okay. a long time it's just every time i look at it it's like jesus christ i wish i had like half of that neck 
They don't. Oh, man. I, I don't know. Oops. That's an accident, everybody. What the heck is that? Oh, it's like a Twitter or, image? Yeah, it was a Twitter image. Like but a you, reaction you, shot. You knew, you knew who it was. <laughs> uh, I want to freak you out some more. Why are you freak me out some more? Why? Oh, the fucking giraffe neck? I'm her brother. I'm your brother. With a giraffe neck? Yeah. That's not bad. What are you doing? Why? That's how they are, TJ. Oh my god. That's Ran. Yeah. I can't even imagine that. That's awesome. It's like borderline scary. So we're we are of the Mexican variety. Oh yeah. We are of the very Mexican for I'm of the very, very Mexican variety. And because of that, I have the short jeans. Wow. Yeah. So that that means I got short limbs, short neck. So seeing necks like these is like Jesus. Yeah, but you know what? Wow. They're waking. They're making so much money than we. So I, much more money than they're us. They're making so much money. So uh, we're wrong. We I, need. We need long necks. Yeah, we need long necks. We need long limbs. Um, what's cool is that whenever they do this to showcase their necks, they do it on per like they put the hair like that. On yeah, purpose. like like that. Yeah, they have like a longer V neck type uh -huh. thing. Yeah, it's great. Like, and it's a woman thing too. Look at his. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, a the mother, father, mo mother, daughter, father moment. I, I, guess. I would love if at the end of the show he win comes back, but that's like his only set. Like how the moms. Oh, like, like he's stuck here. Mom is her set. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the more I talk about the VCNX things. This sort of implies that they have a chance. Even the last thing with 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 Valverat, mm. that there's gonna be more development in bringing them back or something. Like, cause yeah, doesn't she say I'm, I want to see somebody again or something? Yeah, yeah. She here? she's working hard to develop her alchemy to see her friend again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me the Visa next. Like, wrap that up. There, there's. I don't know. No. Oh, this is a good one. This is really good. These, uh, this is uh, flow and back on, uh, flow, yeah, flow and back on. I don't know if one of them is a person, mm, back, or... back on is a is a Which rap is duo. Okay, let me pull it up. Uh, I don't know who this is, but he's part of it. I don't know. Either. Oh, it's, it's probably at the end right here. Oh, cameos? Yeah, cameos. Man at counter. The customers in Kitchen Ichinose... The customers in Kitchen Ichinose are cameos from the members of Back On and Flo, as well as Hopper One's voice actress, Misato she is. Fukuen. My favorite, because she's my favorite bird. And the series composer, there you go. Hiroshi Takashi. Look that at him with his sheet music. Yeah, That's how is. you know he's the composer. Uh, So there they are. Look yeah. at him! That was, that was fun. Um, Flo's kind of like my childhood with uh, Naruto and Code Geass. What if this had the um, the father who wanted to write stories about T-Rexes, mm. the lady who uh, Kaijiki is girlfriends with? What if it had the people that they helped out oh, yeah. throughout the series instead of Flo? Yeah, and, and back, back on. on. Yeah. What if it was that instead? That'd be cool. <laughs> that would also be... Well, you know, here, here's another thing. There's another second half to this restaurant that they don't use. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that half. Uh, yeah, so it turns out... She's pretty... I'm going to put all these in the in, in a tweet. Um, Those two regulars? Yeah, the, she was related to the two regulars That's the whole time. That's awesome. That's great. Um, She's wearing green, too. I love her so much with all my heart. If you're listening, I love you. Um, Rika Matsumoto? Because she voiced Sechan. My favorite little bird guy. He's a friend. Uh, I still don't have any merch of his. Hers. It. That bird. Misato. Fukuen. Her? Mm-hmm. Um, dum -dum. I think during the break when we get into uh, Boom Boom Drew, I'm going to listen to that real quick. Oh, he's in Pretty Cure, too. In the last 
And she's Toga from MHA. Toga. Who's Toga? Uh, Himiko Toga. The, oh. The blood girl. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the mimic? Yeah. Yeah. The blood mimic. The super sexy <laughs> middle schooler? Yes. Jesus. I saw in the error. There's an error message right here. When Clotho scans all of her level 10 replicami cards to attack Grion, uh -huh. she only holds eight cards. Nice. Pretty good. Um, There it is. We see the final reveal, and it's actually the lead singer of Flo. He's back. It's actually Jesus Christ himself. Oh! The white light couldn't capture him. Hotaro is Jesus' baby? So, uh, clearly... I shouldn't say clearly because nothing is fucking clear in this series. This was a product of mind memory, right? M memory wipe? Yeah, right. Hotoro breaks out of that because he remembers his... Like, where was that come from? That doesn't get resolved. Uh -uh. Him like having... Didn't you mention that when we watched this? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't... Like, this fucking show. Him being a memory wipe... So his whole thing was that he knew Hopper wanted Steamliner from when he was a little kid. From this photo... But he didn't know. But he didn't know, right? So he he had a previous memory wipe, which we can assume is from the dad who is in this photo, who was an alchemist, who passed on his alchemy genes to Hotaro, making him the common writer. So where's that story, please? Yeah, what if here... Like, what if the whole time we saw this picture... We never saw, like, from the waist up of the dad. Yeah. And then this moment here, when she points at it and looks at it or whatever, this moment, only this moment, he's got an alchemist ray on his hand. Yeah. What if that was, like, and then you're like, oh, shit, so he was an alchemist. Like, yeah, he, he was, was an alchemist the whole time. I mean, were we supposed to? We don't even know what he did. Anyway. Yeah. That would have been something, you know, and then you'd be like, oh, in the v X, he gets to meet his alchemist dad who's pissing off somewhere or something. Yeah. He's actually the world's greatest alchemist in disguise, in secret, actually. Or imagine in the last shot when all the gold gets taken away, you see a mysterious figure and he sees the gold didn't take away and he's like proud of it or whatever. Yeah. And he has like, I don't know, blue ring with an orange arrow on it. So yeah, it's yeah. very distinct and like it's Gotchard's colors. It's Gotchard's ring. And then at this point, all you see is the hand. Mm -hmm. And you don't even see the dude's face when I was talking about earlier. You maybe yeah, you just, you see, you just like, see the hand. Or you, you just see the hand, body. You see him looking up or whatever. Yeah. Maybe you just see his mouth smile, not the whole face. Uh huh. And then here you get the reveal. Oh, the ring was on this guy. Oh, that was his fucking dad. Yeah. Even that would have been like, oh, okay, so he's out doing whatever he's doing. But no, we get fucking nothing. If it, if it was up to the writers, <laughs> if it was up to the writers of the show, they would probably like try to add a real. If they really wanted to continue, whatever, whatever, they would add a twist here at the end. What's a really bad twist for his dad to be? Oh, that would be. Rayon. Yeah. Yeah. Before he was a doll. Or wind. I don't know because he didn't have a daughter and he made a daughter. So why would he do that if he had a son? Through that. I don't know. I just that, that you said a bad twist. Yeah, bad twist. There you go. What uh, if what, <laughs> what if he's wind? And that's really our brother and sister? Yeah, they're really our brother and sister. So that way this scene will be even weirder? Yeah. Well, I mean, it'd be like a... Like a yeah. Say it. Say her. <laughs> and no. Oh. It would be like a normal Japanese family. Oh, no. Well. It's awful. <laughs> um, I love that they keep all the CG characters up front. Nah, they're bold. They have that Orochi Maro snake thing. Oh, yeah. He's right there. Straight PNG. Yeah, he's too close. He's way too close. <laughs> he's like a big monster. Yeah. We no, saw it. We saw his... He's the only... Okay, so... Orochi. Uh, he's the only Kemi that we saw on the show. Ouroboros? No. Uh, Orochiboros? Orochiboros, yeah. Remember. He's the only Kemi to be shown in real life, like live action. To be so large. Oh, you're right. To be so large that they needed to have a distinct puppet. Wasn't he a puppet? He yeah. Was a, he, was a, he was a snake hand puppet. Meaning he was so large in the clouds that they needed a hand puppet to mimic one of his heads, right? That's when Daybreak showed up in the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I would have liked to see, you know, he because that Orochi is way too close. He needs to be a giant monster in the clouds with a hand puppet. 
I like that the shadow is also just fucking in the daylight. The bat shadow he, thing. He's kind of like, kind of like blinded out, right? His P and G's. Like yeah. 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 Nobody really has shadows. And you, what's cool is like whenever you get into shit like this and you see which way the shadows are facing, like the Triceratops shadow is that way, but the human's shadow is this way. Yeah. Like the sun, there's no way the sun is there. Like the T-Rex shadow facing the opposite direction yeah. of the hero's shadow. Yep, yep, yep. I like this though. He gets, he, uh, it's an interdimensional doorway, but the portal to the doorway is just the Doctor Who portal. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh-uh. It looks crazy. Also, CG Hopper one. Yeah, there he is. He back. He's there. And I like this gag. I guess they're just making Minato a gag guy now. Because he has the gag. It, oh, that he's the, about to wipe his memory? Yeah, when he's about to wipe his memory, he's like, uh -huh, uh -huh, and he makes it like the, the same laughing face. And here's the parallel to the beginning of the show, to the end of the show now, where it's Rene holding out her hand for each Ichinosa who's just fallen. And they get up and they hold hands and they don't say anything about it. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's this shot right here. They don't say anything about it. Considering... A little while ago, uh, Kyoko was trying to push a romance with Spanner and Lachesis or whatever. Yeah. There you go. But that's the end. That's the end. That's the end of it. Yeah. Got, got charred over. Unreal Engined. Cinema Lion. Upside. Mood Star. Oh, you were reading stuff Medi so Unreal Engine is on here? Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Media Forest. Gektor. Aluta. Oh, Samron Studios. Oh. Very cool. Oh, Live 2D. Integral to the story. Uh, Yeah, so that's the end of this story. Kim story. <laughs> Kim is story. Yeah. Uh, I am relieved it's over. I hope, I hope the movie redeems Scott Chart a little bit, but right now... I'm not even gonna say it's worse than Saber. I still don't like Saber. The I'm I'm in my head of Rewa writers. I think Saber is still number five or six, however many there've been. Um, but Gotchard's right above him. Gotchard's right above Saber. Unfortunately, it's a shame because this was our first secondary female writer officially. She is the second one. Um. And her second form, Soto, is still nowhere to be found. Yep, yeah, that was it. That was Gotchard. Almost. Ending. Here we go. Oh. Pull handoff. Or just yeah. a handoff. Who's the first one? Legend. Legendo. Who gives him the gift? Legendo. Legend. So I'm assuming Legend's going to be in charge of the legend, uh, finger quotes, the gifts that are going to be going throughout the series in the future. That would be interesting if he's only in popping up in the handoffs just to give like legendary items, something like that. Maybe. Maybe, but. Just to have him around. Hey, forgot about Legend? Here he is. Maybe, maybe not so much Gotchard. No, I think they're. I think they did this to show how important Legend is to Ryder as a whole. Yeah. Um. And he comes back with, with uh, gummies. Oh uh, my! Nice. And there it is. Those are all the cards that you can find in uh, the Gotchard Phase EX2. Very cool. I picked up a case of that. Uh, I picked up a, a single box of that at PMC, and I got I think all of these cards. Yeah, I think they're gonna use Legend as just like. Uh, he's the one that's passing by to a, a, a replacement for Decade. Even though you can never replace Decade. As the writer that's just riding by that you can conveniently put wherever to give gifts or like to do the handoff. Because he's the one that can use the curtain. Use the uh, the time dimension transporting thing. Yeah, I mean I don't know. It's not like no disrespect at all. To legendary legendo. To decade. It's not like it's been hard to get him back. Oh yeah, no, he does whatever, dude. <clears throat> so he, I don't really know yeah. the, the point of decade doing this. He does whatever, unless it's him to. They think decade was just here because decade. I think legend was just here because it was also legend's year. 
Yeah. Ornament C. Bye, Gotchard. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Damn. <laughs> All right. Oh, episode ranking this is a 5 out of 10. All right. You heard it here. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Boom Boonger. Uh, so hold tight. Back. Boom Boonger. What's this? Oh, you know what? Sorry. We did not do that for the Gotcha no, episode. Didn't. What was the name of the last Gotcha episode? It, w- it was at the beginning. It was just this chemist story. Okay, cool. What's this? This is Bakawagi 26. Secrets of the Universe. Um, I did mention earlier that I want to do something, and I was asking you about your thing. I don't know if you want to talk about that oh, at what the thing? end. Oh, yeah. Thing. You want to talk about it at the end? Eh. Do you want to talk about it? We don't no, have to. No, yeah, okay. not really. Okay. Um, but talking about that thing. Yeah. Um, made me think about myself and how hard it is for me to show the pictures I took on the trip and everything. Oh, yeah. And the videos I took. Yeah. Um, so what I want to do, and I said this last time we recorded, mm-hmm. if I say it on here, hopefully that'll motivate me to do it more. Oh, okay. But I want to have a live stream where I have all my photos and videos and just go through them Yeah. and talk about, oh, okay, in this one. And then I just say a story because mm-hmm. like I mentioned during the break when we're talking to Steve, yeah. to our friend where we had lunch with yesterday. Um, I basically gave him my phone Yeah, and he was going through the pictures and I was telling him the stories day by day of what happened each day. And that was like the third or fourth person that did that too. Yeah. <clears throat> so what I would like to do is kind of do that same thing, but in a video so that other people can watch. And if anybody asks like, oh, you just, you went to California. How was your trip? I just, yeah, it's good. Not, not, not like, oh, you know what? Do that. Just leave me alone. Not in that <laughs> way. But like, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah. You want to see what I did? Here's a video I made. It's on YouTube or whatever. Um, That's funny. I wouldn't have thought about that at all. What? Just like uh, in that perspective, like here, here's a video. Go watch that. Leave oh, me alone. Yeah. I would never have thought of that. I was like, here, here's the video I made. Yeah. You see the video? I put a lot of effort into this. Bam. Uh, but that's it. I'm not going to put a lot of effort into this. Yeah. I, I really just want like maybe have some lo-fi beats in the background have my screen sharing maybe even have my dumbass face on there um and just be like oh yeah so this picture mm-hmm. uh this was when we went and walked over to x and then y happened um because as i was as i've told the stories of our trip four times now um i've sort of been tightening up parts and like oh maybe they want to hear about this maybe they want to hear about that mm-hmm. so i i want to make that kind of video like a proper kind of travel vlog yeah. type thing um so i want to try to do that sometime soon um just so that i can have that out of me because i haven't put anything on instagram mm-hmm. facebook twitter nothing yeah um and i feel guilty because i've Old people and people have asked me for pictures and oh you better take pictures while you're over there or whatever and i did but just haven't shown them so um i would like to because even when we earlier part of this podcast because even though this is five days apart when we recorded that part we did have i did have some pictures that i shared here yeah but i would like to because it was some that i missed i would like to go through all the pictures i took uh including the kcon my kcon la tour my kcon la uh visit i want to put all that in a, a video and just like sort of document it for my own like journaling prop purposes or whatever yeah um but i like the idea of having it ready so that when anybody asks oh you know how was that power ranger uh convention mm-hmm. you'd be like there right you go, there. check yeah, it out yeah. uh, and then i can even show them the video where we talk to people or whatever yeah um yeah that's all i wanted to say i, I got it out talked about it hopefully i'll be motivated to do it later um yeah i'm gonna try to do that because i guess i'm a i guess i'm a yeah i guess i'm a yapper Mm -hmm. when i want to be yeah um yeah and again this is not if you're listening and you like were one of the people who heard me tell the story of Mm -hmm. how our trip was it's not to say i'm tired of telling the story Mm -hmm. not to say you know bother stop bothering or whatever it's so that i can have a more convenient 
kind of like a journal thing. Boom Boonger. Boom Boonger 26. 26. Um, also, that's why why you. Because you, it was your phone that you gave him the phone. <clears throat> yeah, but it wasn't my trip. It was our trip. And True. we all, yeah, we all like, oh yeah, frankincense. Because I was the only one that talked. I feel like we were talking enough. <clears throat> um, I like that they're just like, I don't even know what this building is, but they put up their beds. They're just sleeping like hobos. Oh, that's the the title episode. We don't talk about that yet. Oh yeah. Do you remember this episode? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. The beginning of Tiger Boy? Yeah, so this is the part of lap three. Yes, this is the beginning of... Yes, the yeah. beginning of lap three. Yeah, with the focus on Boon Orange. Gimba. Um, Hungry Boy, strike again. This is always great. He goes in for the bite. Always great to have... That was our favorite thing in Zyoger. In uh, Zenkaiger, right? Yeah. Whenever Judon would eat. Yeah. But they were robots. Um, <clears throat> so funny. So nefarious man. Kind of right. Something happened in the last episode yesterday that like really rose eyebrows. So, Raised eyebrows. So I didn't see that le- episode from yesterday. Mm-hmm. I did, yeah, I didn't see any live episodes. The last two live superhero times I did not catch. Whatever happened then, I guess, is that more solidifying evidence? No. Oh, okay. But. We'll, we'll see. It was a, it was an interesting episode, and again, I watched it live, so I didn't have any subs or anything, so I don't know what happened really. Um, okay. Lightning and tech. Uh, New job. We just know, yeah, it's something that he has to take. Oh, what's in there? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I like that map. Why? Because America's not in the middle. Leftmost. Yeah. Or I guess yeah, leftmost. No, but. Nihongo is in the middle. Yeah. Nihon. Nihongo's language. Um, huh. There you go. They're eating curry. They're done. Hanging out. Oh, yeah. He waits for him when he does his little jobs. Uh, Intro Chronicles. This time, it's like normal, except he's sort of looking away. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They're having a nightmare or they're getting bodied. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Because this happened like the first episode, right? Where they get bodied? Yeah. No. Wasn't it? No. They never gotten like this. They, they, I, I feel like they've gotten Team Rocketed again. Have they? I don't think by this. They have gotten Team Rocketed, but I don't think like to this extent. Maybe. I don't, oh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he wakes up all scared. Pretty good. She wakes up all scared. You remember this, right? Yeah. They do a little blow up. You see the little timed thing? Yeah. <laughs> <It's below. laughs> Mini explosive. Um, I love in Tokusatsu whenever they have like memories or thoughts or anything, and they're real. So he's like pushing them away. Yeah, he's brushing like, but they're thoughts. But he's pushing. It's great whenever you treat your live action show like a cartoon. This too, they're like remember Mad Rex when we used to live back there, and then they transition. Yeah, the and then they're camera. Like, looking, and then it pans. Now we're here. Um, there's no way this would actually be a place that exists with planets and moons that close. Yeah, that'd be crazy gravitational <laughs> force. Yeah. Like anywhere. <clears throat> yeah, there's no way. Um, unless it's all gas or whatever. But that's way too damn close, y'all. Uh, I like this alleyway. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, King Oger, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Nikospa. Uh, yeah. And then Mad Rex is back. That's a cool. That's a cool suit. I'm glad they're bringing him back. That's a cool suit design. Me too. Show Ron Rumpel. Yeah, and he's Jojo. No, but he's Purple Commander to us. It's true that. To me, I don't know. Have you seen Jojo? No. Oh, okay. Look, I should, but it's so ugly. I'm sorry, y'all. It's good. <laughs> it looks good. I think it looks ugly. Yeah, it's kind of like the charm. <clears throat> yeah, it's rough. I, I, uh, like, um, <laughs> super thick lines yep. and like really detailed masculine faces, no matter your gender. It's glam. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
and then it goes back and <laughs> they're still looking they're coming the back yeah it's so good and they do their thing they're re-motivated to work more like mad rex the ddo ddo there she is oh this fucking guy <laughs> this guy's not having any shit i love he he's like pulled out of like uh, like Shane Common Rider or something. Like he's, he's so pull, he's pulled serious. Out, he's pulled out of like a different show. <clears throat> I coughed right into the mic right there. Uh, yeah, he's pulled out of like a bureaucratic, like real show where yeah, where there isn't cartoon cars and monsters. Just like his demeanor does not indicate supernatural type shits happening. Yeah, he's pulled up from yeah, like Shin Common Rider, <laughs> like a like a movie businessman. Yeah, serious. Uh, she's great. Um, this is when they get the call. Not much. I don't really ever have to say much about the clothes that they wear in the show, except for when Mira wears something amazing. Then I'll talk about that. But um, Chashiro, for some reason, this suit did not hit it for me. I don't know if it's the gray or the blue tie with the gray. I don't know what it was. He looked weird. Like mm -hmm. usually, he's super sharp. Maybe it's because when he wears black, it looks better. But I don't know something about this suit. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really like it. This was when uh, she was talking about him. Yeah, his ears are burning. Yeah. Oh no no no! Hiccups. Sneeze. Sneezes. That's the he big sneezed, one. Yeah. And she's like, "Don't talk about my boyfriend like that." DX toy. <laughs> Pulls up the DX on him. This is so I, f I love this too in Sentai or Ryder. Well, I guess Ryder doesn't count because their toys are the gimmicks. The same, yeah. yeah. But here, whenever they pull out like the robot, this is the actual the DX robot. It's yeah. like, yeah, look at this fucking toy. Um, the best part is they don't ever like touch them up either. Like, no, that that's from the shelf. That's off the shelf. They went to the store real quick. They went to the store real quick and just did it real quick. <laughs> I, I would it's like so I would like to think that they like have dx boxes on hand yeah but they, but they probably just went to like a don quixote and just like bought it off the shelf oh yeah those boxes thumbs up and then he like super sneezes or some shit here yeah like wow she's really risen me up um and then they got the other ones too damn that's a really good shot i wish you could see her mouth her her eyes look great and then, yo, oh, that's also really good. The reason why he's doing it to the camera and why, yeah, it's like that is because she's doing it to his bitch ass face. God, that's good. It looks like she has a microphone. Yeah, kind of huh, on her shoulder. Yeah. Anyway, um, she looks like an Animal Crossing character who just got a bug. Huh. Like her stance is, yeah, in your face. Oh yeah, so they're done. They're full. They've done left, yeah. and they almost cross paths with the tri seat heroes. They're back there, the sun seaters. Yeah, heroes. Yeah, and this is the not clip episode, but it's like the rundown. This is this is start of lap three. Let's get to know these characters again. Yeah, let's run through everything. Well, the point of this is to point out that we don't know shit about Orange, right? And oh yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 came to me as well. When I was watching this, I think this might be my favorite episode so, so far of Sentai. Maybe. Like ever? Maybe. Oh wow. It's close. Maybe not, because Kyoryuger came back in King Oger. But I love how this story starts with like four stories maybe five we have her here we have them here we have um them doing their job and then through this we get gemba's like mm -hmm. we don't know shit about him so i thought it was a really good really good um storytelling and how they put all of these in and in together like where they they match with each other i don't know as we get more in the episode you'll see maybe what i mean i forgot i took this picture um interview the dog but yeah so they're 
walking around doing bananina bananina. So while that's happening, we have um, Saibu detailing them, like who they are. While that's happening, they also got the call about the bananina bananina. Uh-huh. So we get to see each of them reacting to how that works while she's telling the the dude, the DDO guy, about each of the characters. Um. And here, and you get the characters too. Like, like you said, it's like a recap episode. Yeah, we like she handles a lot of jobs. He's a cop. He's you know the procurer, or whatever. Information broker. We get, or yeah, sorry, the information broker. So we get like these quick snapshots that you don't need but a second or two, really, yeah, just to get for each of them, and you sort of get it. Um, look at her neck. That's crazy. Um, look at his neck. Look at his neck. Yeah. No, there are like Alata from uh-huh. from uh, Ghost Sager. Is it Neck City? Yeah. You should type that. Alata Go- Ghost Sager. Alata Ghost Sager. A L A T A Ghost Sager. Sorry, I want him to see this. I want him to see this man. Oh no, his first photo on Google. Yeah, it's good, right? Oh no, his first photo on Google. It's it's uh is there the drawing? Let me see. That's crazy. Was there a drawing of him with neck? No. That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's funny. Uh anyway, Yes. Um, Here's Gumba. Yeah, so we get to see how each of them, which, which what each of them are, they're parts of the team. You know, quick rundowns. It, it's 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 fast, but it's also enough. I like how uh, she's working at like a just a any gas station it's not like a 7-eleven or a, f- a family mart yeah it's like any gas station mm-hmm. or a convenience store whenever i saw it i was like oh that's like the ones we have here i pass by those every day yeah you can see boon origin even he's like fuck is that dude yeah so, oh you know he says something like so that means we don't know anything about him right <laughs> or something like that yeah um <clears throat> this is great restroom again gross um Thankfully, they don't record in there. So we, they don't have to start streaming on kick or something. No, oh, no. Um, did you hear about that, by the way? No, recording in the restroom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I did hear about that. Where, like, he passed something for, like, two seconds and then that, that No, he in. recorded in the restroom. He recorded in the restroom. Oh, really? Oh, hell yeah. Who was that? Dr. Disrespect. Oh, Dr. Disrespect did that? Yeah. Oh, wow. And did you hear what happened when he was trying to play? Uh, What game was he trying to play online? Marvel Rivals? Oh, okay. What popular Marvel game? It was a it was a team shooter or whatever. Maybe no, it wasn't Concord. X Defiant? Not X Defiant. Whatever. It was a game, an uh, online shooter, and everybody agreed to tank anytime they joined his team. Oh nice. Or leave. Yeah. Or they would just leave. Nice. And his on on Twitter, I saw a video of like his very first game. Everybody just left. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. That's pretty good. Fuck you, Doctor Disrespect. All right. Um, but they do get this shot, so I do like that they can't. They don't explicitly show her do because usually we see the key, the yeah, keyhole, and it turns and everything. Not this time. No, we can't see that toilet. I want to look at that toilet. Oh no! Look, her dripping is kind of freaking off on this. Oh yeah. Coming out. But we see this guy again. Um, First auto monster. So it's a return to a monster that if you've been watching, you know what he does with the water. Yeah. So you you get that fear that Blue has or immediately. Like, oh no, if Blue sees him again. Yeah. He's gonna freak out. Yeah. Uh so this guy like takes out everybody's backbones, makes everybody like lazy. Um this was also this is a common thing in Sentai. Uh, it also yeah. happened in Gokaiger. And um, Kyojuger. For some reason, Funya is what they say whenever they. Yeah. Funya. Oh, whenever okay. you lose motivation. 
huh. in in these. Um, Maybe there's something about that in the bottom. And then he takes the gasoline. Oh, this is amazing. Always. I've always loved the way he fucking comes in. Oh, yeah. With his electricity. Always. And the way he... He stops. Like, he's he stopping stops running. Himself. Yeah. So good. I would I would put, like... Uh, I, you, you know, you can't because it's not your grass. But I would put, like, little... You know... Oh, yeah. Like, little tire ground, marks. Like, yeah. Um, that fucking DX toy. He put it on his desk. Um, And then, yeah. They talk about... That's a good shot. Talk about how <laughs> tire handle. That's a reaction image. Tire handle, um, like or all of them. Why they all just run to go do this hero thing? And he's like, I I don't get it. And she's like, Well, if they ever saved you, you'd get it. Yep. Um. There she goes again with this fucking picture. That's a good one. That's leaving. A, that's really good. <laughs> Canon is that she drew it herself pretty good yeah and that's great like like i've been saying this whole time when we're watching this series these are just heroes they they they, they just go they do what they have to do i like that it, she drew red too it's not, it's not she didn't drew herself she drew red is that not her no it's red no it's her because of the look at the helmet look how many oh is that how many she has he has well he has five. Oh, i see it looks red oh i see i see i see it now because the Soto. The cop run. He's like this fucking, he's never going to do his job. Um, And then I like here that he, that even he had, uh, puts his candy on hold to go be the hero. Mm -hmm. uh, and then too, yeah. This is where he says he doesn't get it. She's like, you motherfucker. Um, so of course, Boom Violet's first and he's fighting him and uh, right there blue reacts to it like oh no it's mm -hmm. this guy see look at his suit does it not look or am i tripping i don't know i don't okay. know that much it, uh, i don't know much about suits either i just don't like this fit maybe it's the striped shirt underneath maybe i don't know <clears throat> um so yeah we, we get the flashback of him and he becomes like that look at how she stands that's how i stand that's oh no my two feet together <laughs> the emoji she's the emoji um. Yeah, so he ma saves him, but he got some water on his pants. I wish that wasn't there. What, just a little bit of water? Just a little on his bit pants? of water on his pants. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Oh, and then she shows up and tells him, because he's being coy about it for whatever reason. He's like, uh -huh. no, just don't put. And she's like, no, it shows what you're, what you really are inside, or whatever. Like, uh -huh. It drops your inhibitions. It reveals, yeah, it drops your inhibitions. It reveals yourself. And oh, I also love about the, about this episode too. Orange throughout the episode says little drops of like, well, that'd be interesting to see. When it's like, well, no, you're the one that has like you weren't yeah. sprayed with water last time. You're the one that has something hide. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. we find out he's a cat man, fox man, whatever he is. Um. So that like, oh, it's interesting you're saying that and. I obviously we saw the preview for this episode, so we knew this episode was gonna eventually be about him. But it's interesting that so far, it's nothing's nothing. explicitly about him. Yeah. But like this is like a nice little, like like even before with the we don't know much about him. Yeah. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. So yeah, they they do their. This is great. I don't mention. This is a really good shot. Actually. I, oh, I didn't notice that they used uh, roads for these. Uh, behind them. No, the roads for the screen transitions. Oh, of the yeah, color, yeah, yeah, the, roads. yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. <clears throat> and it's funny that as soon as they transform, oh no, they, they did it even before, right? Because a little bit water. Um, <clears throat> this is also great. It also speaks to their characters. Bune Violet wants to get hit by the water because he yeah. wants to see what is my true self or whatever. Um, see, look, yeah, it's great. And then Pink gets in the way. But black and pink have already been hit by it, so they know yeah. they're already. Um, what is it? They're effect They've already been affected by it. They're immune to it. Uh, amped up. Oh cranked yeah. Cranked up. Cranked up. They're cranked up already. Bakuage. Um. So yeah, they just go and like they act like normal. And he's like, 
I like. Oh yeah. Yeah. He says that he's like, to be a space pirate, you have to have you have to be a hundred percent all the time. You mm -hmm. can't lie about nothing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you, you'd have to. Like, doesn't he say there's something disparaging if you do hide yourself or some shit like yeah. this? And then again, Orange has a little comment about it. He makes a little passing remark about it. And then, yeah. He's um, like, what, what if Red did it? Mirror's oh, what can like, I yeah. do he be? That's the image for the wiki. Oh, yeah? For yeah. the episode? Yeah. <laughs> That's the image right there. This was great. Where uh, Chashiro was, like, imagining it and he saw it imposed over him. Again, live action turning into cartoons. I love it. Um, damn, he gets soaked too. Yeah, it's really bad for him. <laughs> it's really bad. And this is waterproof. Um, maybe it's not, but we know the water didn't work. Yeah. He it, just said that. It just reveals that in this moment, oh, it's just regular water. Yeah. This is great. They're just watching. That's the, the, that's the big joke. And again, I, I like that he wanted to... To, to do it just to like see and I feel like maybe he would be fine but I don't know maybe he'd have some trauma from being left be changing leaving as a kid and shit being a space pirate maybe he would turn into a kid again like not turn into physically a kid but like yeah mentally, mentally he'd be like go oh back. I never got to play I never got to go to school you know whatever um that'd be interesting I, I, I like to see that but I like his reaction is like hi you bitch I'm the same and then yeah. it turns out well no it is the same yeah <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it doesn't well, it's just, well, it's just well, I didn't do anything um I also like the thing about again this the character development the show 26 episodes in that bond blue and red have where blue is curious about red but also very protective of him um I don't know yeah and they fight that's always cool yeah big guy and they fight big suit jokes That's crazy they just got jokes uh this was crazy where he fought the water with water he was just shooting it mm -hmm. up in the air and bune diesel bune diesel is just like i guess flying i guess they don't hit by the water yeah it's a good fight scene and then he claps like if they're not fighting each other i forget oh yeah what? They do the transformation again, right? Oh, this transition is so yeah. clean. Yeah, I, I love this episode. Maybe it's my favorite Boom Boom episode. Um, the transition again from but their final from, form, or from the final attack. It goes from CG, uh, like final attack video game cutscene to like real life, where it like carries that beam up to the sky and they react to it exploding. That's really good. Oh, yeah, he hits his head on here and they put the sound effect so it sounds oh, terrible. It sounded terrible. <laughs> Uh, I, I do like it when they do that whenever they transition from like okay this is what you see as the audience yeah. versus okay this is what everyone else sees if mm -hmm. you're just on the ground looking at it because it's one shot it implies yeah. that's what is seen too Yeah, it's really good right, everybody's back this team building it's just uh, they played it in reverse right yeah yeah they just straight up in reverse <laughs> and they don't drop any they just keep on doing it they don't like what was that just nope pretty good there you go um, you got the thing to the thing mm -hmm. which they don't say no because that's in the beginning of the episode they said i don't make a point to ask about what i'm delivering yeah so they bring the thing to the thing take your toy please take your fucking maybe you can get a, a return maybe it's <laughs> not too long ago go back to <laughs> you got it from don quixote go to mandarake resell that i would love an explanation to this uh not we don't need it because it's it's tokusatsu sure they have toys of this but i would love it if it was revealed that taya made these and that's helping fund boom Boonjo's operations oh that'd be cool it's like a nice little thing at the side like just yeah and it's not even something they have to bring up it's like maybe um joe sees that uh-huh in the lair like oh what's that doing there and taya's like oh those are toys that we're making to help sell it's our latest toy line and it could even be a christmas episode because that would tie into it too because that's the whole point of the christmas episodes I into tie it. yeah yeah you're right oh what is this why is he walking into the ddo Ah, huh, interesting so yeah we don't know he has a nefarious face now we don't know what what is actually going on here right oh only that it implies that 
the DDO's office is in a government security building or whatever, and that he is also in there now. Uh, maybe because I mean yeah. they got the delivery done, so it was later in the day. He could have just true that he could have got right there. over there. Um, but her not looking. Uh huh. Even though they just yeah, because she just talked about him, right? That's cool. She would have like yeah, like oh, or that is pretty cool. Later on, she could be like, hey, I saw the dude. Yeah, she she, she could tell Taya, but no. That see, the prop is there yeah, for that. For like, that, for the distraction. It, 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 this episode is really well written, well directed, well everything about it is good. Um, and then mm-hmm. I, I'm always a sucker for shots where you see every member on the team mm-hmm. at the same time, and then that little less car. Uh, how'd they get there? <clears throat> There's only two people in that car. Little doom buggy. Uh, um, convertible. It does look tinier than usual, doesn't it? Yeah, it's small. But then again, we're up pretty far. Um, Perspective. But how did everybody else get there? That's a small car. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Yay. Mission accomplished. Good stuff. Boom. Explosions. That's a good shot. I, I really like how different all their faces are to the react to, to react to the explosions. Gemba's pissed off. Mm-hmm. Uh, Taya, Gio have like wide eyes. They're like, what is actually happening? It's good. This was good too. Everybody had their own like little shaky reaction to it. To a shot. That's a good shot. Snake Man took Whoa. the thing that they just delivered to the lab, I guess. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's his name? He he's like a. He's like a fortress with a bunch of snakes on him. Hold on, his name is. I, I, let me, let me, let me, let me. It's, it's a thing, but there's one letter missing. It's something. It's a. It's a word that's used. Yeah. But there's one letter missing. Nope. It's not like D. Is it D? Yes. Start with the D. It's a D. It's not. Not disast. Nope. Disast. That's from Saber. Yeah. It's D I? Yep. D I T. Nope. D I S. Yes. This. What's the next letter? R. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Disgrace. Yeah, it's disgrace. Just take out the G. Oh, I thought it was like just this this race. This race, yeah, or that, yeah. Yeah, just this race. But that's what I meant. It's a word. That's, yeah, it's no, that's uh, disgrace. It's, it's, it took out the G. This race, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, it was cool. I like the the generals we've been getting. He's a snake man. Um, Kennenborg maybe overstayed his welcome, uh, just because there was so much of it. Like he wasn't doing dick. Uh, but they did address it where like he looked at the levels of gasoline and was like, oh shit, we don't have nothing. Yeah, we ain't got none. <laughs> um, so this guy's here to maybe sort of fix that. This was great because you see Gemba getting his weapon ready and Taya being the leader took note. Good shot. Crazy run up. Like... Like from standing to straight sprinting run up. Like he is angry. Like Boom Blue is ready. He's about to okay, I guess we're gonna fight. Yeah. And the others are still kind of assessing it, but Gemba's like, nah, it's it's over. You can get hurt by doing that, you know? You just like from straight just standing to like immediate to like power power sp- force sprint. Yeah. He went for it. I try to get a good shot here. It was tough. Cause uh, it was a cool shot and jump up and everything. But his arm was covering his face for most of it. And oh, I, I wanted I to get I wanted to get his face. And it's actually him too. Yeah, and that's cool too. Yeah, he's he was on the wires for that day. Um let me see. What's the last picture? Oh, that's the last picture of the oh, episode. Nice. Um But I really liked okay, so I fucking love this episode. Right. I thought it was one of the best episodes of Boom Boonger. Even I've liked all the episodes of Boom Boonger so far. Um but like I said, the way they weaved together all of the stories like even at the end here mm-hmm. the dude who gave him the package 
goes up at the end. Yeah. Her leaving that tied up with that. The package being delivered ties into oh well, his mysterious like why is he? It just it all worked out really well. Um and even the monster being the monster like intentionally the monster who will reveal Yeah. Your, who the whatever. thing is. And it also was the first one that Mad Rex made. Yeah. Which was also part of, like it's just it's just who's a also good gonna be part episode. of this later. And he's gonna be part of the what is it, lap three. Yeah. Um Yeah, I really like this episode. Before I get into the safety picture, what did you think of the episode? I liked it. This is good uh just based on transitions, camera work, just the cinematography of it. The cinematography of it. The cinematography of it there it is you could just just watch it and it'll be just good like that and you, you don't have to listen to it or read anything about it or read the subtitles you just look at it and it'll be just great episode still which shows how much effort is put into the show what about the story the story's good uh, i like that he is uh he is like a character similar to that of inuyasha we don't know that, technically. Well, we saw the preview, right? Yeah, so he's, he's, it's but in the we know preview. That. Um, you were saying you could just watch it without the subtitles or anything? Yeah. I think you might be able to just watch this episode, period. Like, you don't have to have seen the rest of Boom Boom. Yeah, Jimmy anything about that? To get it. Yeah. Because it's clear who the sixth is. Mm -hmm. It's clear um, what each characters are. Like, they do the little thing. Yeah, they do the... It, the roundup in the beginning it's clear they already had a general who they killed mm -hmm. by general rex and that and who sand cedars i think this is a really 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 good episode of boom boonger um and then i hope the next one follows up because yeah literally when we were watching this subbed and everything yeah. as we we're watching it i don't know if you remember me i was like oh wow while we we're watching this episode yeah yeah because yeah, i was yeah. i was like no that's that's sick the way everything works in together it's great um, so I liked the ending dance too for this one because he takes uh, up all do, the screen. They do this. He takes it all up because he's not he's not actually there with the, they haven't re-recorded this. Um, but this time, his little bubble is the whole damn fucking screen. It's he great. takes up all of it. Is your computer dying? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, and then the final the picture, the J A F. Oh no, I have, I have enough. I have enough. What was it? I forgot what it was. I have enough battery for that. Uh, don't stand in front of a car. Oh, don't play around cars yes don't play around uh i think it was vehicles that are turned on let me fact check that what episode is this 26 yeah future of the universe mid-credit psa the heroes encourage the viewers not to play around cars as they could end up in a accident by them or by the driver not pay paying attention to the surrounding situations all right all right mira looks really cute in this one that's weird at the bottom it says dvd release to be announced hmm um good episode i can't wait to watch the next ones um Solid. so let me ask you do you want to do them one by one or do you want to do a, a big thing yeah let's do a big thing you think a big thing would be better you want to do all th six episodes yeah for one yeah it'd be three up three hours to watch just to watch it i don't know if our discussion will be any shorter doing that unless i take way less pictures for mm. each episode yeah true because we, we did yeah because we, we can talk about this off air yeah um but look at that little ass car um mm -hmm, speed buggy. round i took these pictures last weekend because the past precure heroes showed up in the recent in the new in the current precure show mm -hmm. so that was cool um, but I'm just going over that to go over this. Oh. Uh, get ready, guys, because these are going to be the new bumpers uh, for superhero time. And we're going to try to use them here as well. Yes. New bumper uh, time. They look like shit. Uh, we'll see if I can Whoa. find better ones of them. Dude, because this was airing. I took them as fast as I could when they were airing. Yeah, it, it always catches by surprise <coughs> when it happens. So, like, it's also you had to be on it. It also shows how shit the quality is that we watch it when we're live. Yes, this is the quality that we see it. And then it aired again, a different one. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was in the beginning of the broadcast, and this is the end of the broadcast. 
deliver snacks. Yeah. But it's always uh, red in the sixth first. Um, and then the main and secondary writers. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You got uh, Bonderas. Bundario's yeah, there? Yeah, Bundario's there. That's yeah, cool. well, he made in the curry. Yeah, that's how they're you eating, do it. They're eating the prop curry. And then, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah I like that. That uh, and In higher def, that would be the one right before we get into yeah. discussion. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good parallel to uh, the Boom Boonger ending. Or the Boom Boonger intro yeah. ending. <laughs> and there's another one. Nice. That was better. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That was better. Ooh, that's great. <clears throat> I was going to say, I love that even though it's like the bumper and it's like everyone in individual doing their own thing, Bune and... Uh, yeah, they're still, yeah, they're, they're attached still, to the hip. Yeah. Fuck you, Uh, Look how small Mira looks. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, she really looks fucking Little small. lady. Jeez. Um, yeah, this was cool. Especially you liked... put her next to the big Doom buggy. I liked, uh, liked Boom Boonger a whole lot. Helped pick up my mood after Gotchard ended. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, oh, that's it. We did it. Did you rate Boom Oh, yeah. No, I didn't rate it. This is a 10 out of 10, obviously. Nice. Good stuff. All right. That was a podcast, dude. We did a podcast. Yep. Now we just have three more to make. Yeah. Yeah. What was the plan before for us to do the ending of Gotchard and then episode one of Gov? You remember that? To do those two together? Yeah. I don't remember that. No. What I what, what I was suggesting was to do the ending of Gotchard and then the, do do the first two of Gov together. That's what it was. And then the next two of Boom Woodry together. Yeah. But now that jumped up to three altogether, so I don't I don't know about that anymore. Uh, or six altogether because it's. One one one. Six them. One, one. All right, that's it. Thank you everybody for listening. I have been super blast text everywhere. Uh, I'm even super blast text on Twitch, and that's probably where I'm gonna do that stream I was talking about earlier. Um, or YouTube on this very channel here. YouTube. Um, so catch me everywhere: Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitch blue sky um threads i'm um, super blast X everywhere um thank you so much for listening and i've been toku tony you can catch me everywhere at toku tony t-o-n-y t-o-k-u except for uh twitter yeah twitter unfortunately i'm tony toku over there which is a bummer. Catch us everywhere. Uh, Instagram live. I be live every single day. That's not true. Just follow me on Instagram. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.